All right, there we go. We are live. We are live. We are actually live now. We are trying something new. We are in person. Everyone's here in the group. Everyone's here. There, there's, there's that. <laughs> but because, but we are gonna start right away. So. Cassandra, why you slap the leaf? Yes, exactly. Punishment for me. Punishment for Cassandra. You no. can't leave a thousand years in jail. All right. Well. Shame. Shame. Okay, so everybody, I'm gonna do the intro because we're already really late. You don't need to unmute. You don't need to unmute right now, because then it'll just get picked up. So it is muted. It is muted. Uh. So. All right. Let us begin then, because we're already really late. On the last time of Legacies of the Skies, our heroes. Uh, made their journey to the town of Ormgard. Where along the way, our heroes found a green-haired gnome alchemist who requested a help with their any, a problem in their home to eventually, well, face a, a little kitty, uh, a little kitty with a lot of, uh, a lot of whipping uh, tentacles. <laughs> While players made their way into the cave, they found a problem in their home. A rift opened up near their house. After defeating a mysteri the mysterious creature, the party, well, Ember decided to partake of the flesh of the beast, teleporting 10 feet to, into the rift itself, floating amongst the astral sea, came face to face with a woman who told her, it's not your time yet. Being catapulted back into the cave, safe and sound, but with their new companion in tow and a freezing Ember, we arrive back into Legacy Disguise. No, not yet. Uh, so as this goes on, you see, as you guys are all making your way, all of you are at the moment are getting all situated again. Your new, your newest member with you. Uh, I will say that each of you are uh, will get along best before all before moving forward. Uh, I will say every single one of you actually had a rest, and as this goes on, you just see, you just see your new companion just goes. Uh, thank you for helping me out, by the way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So, where are you going now? Um, it's our pleasure. Well, I'm following you. Uh, so for the whole way, because aren't we going to do something with a father figure, I thought? Well, no, um... I, I was just going to probably try to see if I could come along at least for a little. I, I can't do combat though, unfortunately. So uh, I, I won't really be much of help unless you have a ship. I mean, I do have a ship. We have a ship. I have a ship. We have a ship. I am the one who has the captain's quarters. All right, all right, no, all you don't. We locked you in your room, remember? That was not my room. That it was, was your room. It was a glorified janitor's closet. No. That was not. That was your room. All right, all right. Both of you ladies are pretty. Um, Dragon. Princess. <laughs> dragon. Giant. Hold on, hold on. You're a dragon. Yes. And you're a princess. Giant. A giant princess? Now I understand why you're both always Chicken. at each other's throats. What? Chicken. Nouns. What are you talking about? Confusion. Super effective. <laughs> Anywho. Keep going on to our next. Also, by the way, I realized I could just mute your mic on my side too. You, Baldi, I'm gonna unscrew you bolt you by bolt. Uh, so basically, whenever you guys are speaking and such, I will just do not. I have a very expensive mic in front of me. That you break on the regular. Uh, <laughs> Goldie's about to be about to be dis, uh, dismembered at the moment. So uh, unfortunately, you're that you're not being dismembered. Yep. You're being piled down into a piece of ash. Uh, I will all right. reforge you into. All right. Well, um, all right. So, uh, uh, is this group always like this? Unfortunately, yes. 
Usually that's the case, unless if it's a good day, then it gets a little more peaceful. Yeah, when everyone yes, remembers who they're talking to. I'm still getting used to the group myself here. Yeah. I just want to see the world. <laughs> it's just... Okay, so we're supposed to go to a town, right? Or Leaf? Ormgard. Ormgard, yes. is that what it's called? Yes, yes. yes. that was the town where okay. we were supposed to go. Yeah, because... We didn't take a detour, that's right. We found you... Uh, that, that would be a detour. Well, then where are we supposed to go? To... To Orngard. Yeah, you were saying that's a detour. No, I'm saying what we did right now was a detour. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm confused. You're confused. All right, You're con okay, let's just keep going. Let's keep moving. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck out here at night. Red is just putting the flower on his head on Ginger because Ginger deserves to feel pretty. <laughs> Speaking of which, at this moment, you see that it is starting to become late. But the roads themselves, I will say each of you have already made your way. Uh, you're back into the car and all of you and Ginger has already been fed. So you can mark down one ration of the ones that you guys have gotten for that. If you've written that down, of how many rations she has. I got my notes from a backpack. Well, well who, who's getting it? <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, it's too late. He's going. He's going. He's going it's for it. Contest. <laughs> okay. Leaf, Leaf is rushing Leaf like the wind right now to be a studious, um, a studious party member. Let us, uh, let's try to follow his example. Yes. Mm, sure. Huh. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, Alira, right? Alira? Yes, my name is Alira. Yeah, well, don't worry. So as long as you're with us, you will be fine. My fire will keep us safe, uh... Red's armor will shield us. Sorry. But that's, uh, I, I, what did you call it, Red? It was holy magic? It was, it was clear. divine magic, which is something that Paladin. Yeah, 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 divine magic. The, the point is they both got it, so it'll be fine. More importantly, though, you have a dragon helping you, so you'll be fine. And Leaf's pretty solid at fighting, too. I will say that. Yes? You know I can grow, right? Do you know how you keep growing? R source? No. Ability to do it? Constant. I just had a revelation. What? Leaf grows like a leaf. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I hear that leaf eye, Leaf's eyes just like grow wide because he's never made that. <laughs> I am the biggest boy. Yes. Yeah, so anyways, it's fine. Mind you, one day I'll be able to grow. I could all, and if you want to, we could all, I could also just do, I could also do it like a verbal cue whenever, I, whenever I'm going to speak to make okay. it easier. All right. All right. I'll just put my finger up. All right. I'm... I can tell I'm already gonna like this group. Oh, well, looks like you have your wits about you, then. Uh, what race is she? No. No? Yeah. Are you gonna have any problems with the kobold? No. What? Not... With, with, with Gecko? Oh, Gek? No. Why well, would she? No, no, no. Well, kobolds and gnomes do have a little... Bad blood. Some are, some don't care. Some do. Like, what do you mean? They're gods. They, they, they trapped a kobold god. The gnomish gods trapped a kobold god. And there's a kobold god. There's a god of every species. No, well, it's isn't. not. It, well. It's a popular figure that would become a dragon. But that's not a god. Then that's a dragon. Well. It died and then became a dragon. Okay, but that's not a god. Yeah, but it came back from death. Okay, but it's not a dragon. Yes, it is a dragon. Or, no, not a god. Um. Regardless or not, they have bad blood. 
do you care at all, this druid person, fungi? I like. Um, I, my fat, my my grandparents, yes, but I have no quarrels with kobolds. That's great. That, that's all we yeah, need. Cause, uh, yeah, because yeah, we ain't, we ain't leaving Gecko. <laughs> yeah, obviously not. Yeah. He, he's the name of our ship. It's the Saint Gek, right? I feel like... It's the little Gecko. Oh. He's For someone who claims to be a captain, you sure really don't... You sure really remember Shut up! the name of your own <laughs> ship. That's because I didn't name it! It was taken out of my hands! By the... By, uh, apparently popular vote! Which is stupid! Because you ignore my wisdom. Mm -hmm. Your wisdom it really is. burned down the I'm not seeing it on my end, is it? I fireproofed it. You're welcome. Yes. Yes, I did. Stop shaking your head at me. Red's just... I... You see, this is the... This is the kind of, uh... Unfortunate treatment I get for all the good I do for the group. Red is just, like, holding his How temples. Many? Just times not have you saying anything, but you could tell he's just holding his temples. Like, how many times have you harmed members of the party? Ember's going to hold up her hands and she's going to start counting. <laughs> she she noticeably skips the middle finger as she goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, everyone's alive, so that's fine. You nearly killed the cleric twice. 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 <laughs> no. Okay. For, the first time was it was your fault because you're in the way of that giant eagle. Also, I thought fire was not bad on you. It shouldn't be. I don't know what went wrong. Oh no, that's because I used lightning. Yes, that's right. Okay, but there's no second time. That was. Uh, and even if it was, I'm pretty sure it was your fault. But don't worry, you're learning. Listen, instead of bickering, so should we still keel haul you? Just carry on? Like What's keel haul? That's when you're hung at the front of the ship and dragging it through the sea. Or I guess through the sky. Well, at this point, I will say that each of you have actually made your way over to the... Uh, over... I will say this is a conversation that's been going on as you are making your way over to your location. As you were doing so, you see as you now are coming closer to a, uh, to what seems to be a light source up on the road, you're, the road's really bumpy at the moment. And I mean absolutely bumpy. You can see as everything is just completely, uh, it's starting to get more like rocky road rather than a dirt road in a way. And as you're making your way over, uh, you see now coming up ahead, this, this journey was about maybe 30 minutes. Uh, it's not that long. As you're making your way over to this journey though, you see as now as uh, you can see two guards currently uh, standing in front and they're going, Oh, Lord. Um, uh, they look over at your cart. Oh, uh, uh, drop. Uh. Damn it, what the fuck was I was going to say? Fuck. Uh, <laughs> One moment. Oh, let's see, wait. Alright, halt! Stop your car! I stopped the car. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, my avatar is gone. Yes. Yeah. That's what I was. Oh, so that's what was missing. Oh, here comes the kiddo. No wonder the screen looks so empty. One moment, I will activate Goldie. I realized that I forgot to put him on. So, here, I need to do something really quick. And that should fix it one moment really quickly. And I will fix this right away. Here, let's see. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. What? Should have been there. There he goes. All right, he is here. Oh. There he is. All right. There you go. Next, I move everything on the screen. All right. I realized I was talking with my other mic. Is Goldie usually there? Or are you? 
honest, thought he was a dwarf. It's because uh, that space. Oh, well, we can. At the moment, we are just uh, we're experiencing some things at the moment, so we are going to be just doing this. We'll have a. Uh, well, yeah. So basically, I have everything else on the other mic. You're probably going to be hearing me for a little bit, but noises get picked up a lot on the other mic due to the omnidirectional mode, which is why uh, when it comes to omnidirectional, it picks up everything in the room. So, yeah. At the moment, everybody can just uh, joke around and have fun at the moment, and then we'll continue right after. <laughs> what? What? what John said, yeah, keel hauling is when you tie someone's arms and legs and you like oh pull them gosh. under the ship. And like, and, and, and like gravity take the... Okay, so I actually didn't know that, so... Oh yeah. my yeah. god. Yeah. You can also do it in the back yeah. of the ship, too. Yeah. But All right. one is more... Like history lesson, one is more dangerous than the other. There's one you get scratched up by barnacles. By the way, as we start, I want to see: Does my mic? Do I sound good on the mic? Uh, on if anybody has earbuds or something, do I sound like I'm coming in all right on the mic over here? Because I, mean, I, I want to see headphones. I want to see something because if if so, then I can just deactivate my mic and it'll, it'll just be one mic. Are you wanting me to actually like turn yeah. on the sound? And to for those who are on the stream at the moment. For the stream, yes. To those who are on the stream, let me know, and I can, uh, and I can see if I'm coming out okay. Then what I'll do is uh, I'll deactivate my mic. That way, it's one less thing for you to worry. Exactly. Okay. This might come up on the okay. mic really badly, it. and I'm sorry. Why is it blinking from like green to red? Uh, that just means it's peaking, but it's not peaking on the stream. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure. So I'm gonna be There's talking right about now. It's like lagging just a little bit. It's lagging. Can we hear? It's the lag. Because it, it that could just be internet. That is probably internet lag at the moment. I will say it's picking up the fan. It's picking up the fan. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's omnidirectional. So it's gonna be doing that for a while. It's perfectly, it's perfectly fine though. Yeah, you're coming in good. Okay, if I'm coming in all right, then it sounds like I'm actually coming out okay, then I'll just keep it like that. Obviously it's lagging behind because, well, obviously. There's a stream delay. Yes. Yeah, it's like... That's, oh, no, no, yeah, there's, that's there, there's stream delay. Yeah. It, it, it's like a few seconds. I turned, down, I turned it down, so now it'll, uh, it'll, open, it'll activate whenever someone actually talks. So it shouldn't pick up the right. fan anymore. It's just weird hearing all of our voices. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to keep it on. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. All right. Well, and now that I don't have to, I don't have to worry about my uh, my mic anymore. Uh, so we'll just have the this mic here as our, as our actual mic. As someone's about to rip ass. <laughs> all right. Well, as okay. All right. So you see, as now some of the guards are looking over and they're going. All right, everyone. All right, all of you. Whoever's in the car, get out. So we have a little bit of a search. They are guards, though. Why do you want to search our car? We've had some bandit problems nearby. Some bandits were coming. Uh, well, from what our guard captain told us, there, there were some bandits who were coming by. We already took down a couple of them, but they, uh, some of them were able to get into the town. So now we're being a little bit more. Uh, Careful. Watchful mm. and careful about it. Said they were fleeing but from some some damn giant breathing fire and some sort of <laughs> angel or something with many arms. But that is That's mean confused. Uh, I'm sure uh, everyone arms. else is like Sorry about uh, that. Um Red is I just that was us. Yeah, I the fire was all me though. She, yeah, she gave us the ability to breathe fire. I have the ability to be big. That that one could turn into an angel, and that one likes fireworks. Rich just, well, uh... Rich just like... 
Well, the only problem I can really say is that we've also been having a griffin problem nearby, so... Oh, we saw that too? Yeah. Uh, I, saw, not, then, I saw it tear through a lot of people. Russ well, is gonna... we have been dealing with the griffin for a while now. Unfortunately, we can't just let you into the town just yet. Due to the bandit problems nearby. And we're still searching the town at the moment. We've taken... They've taken refuge in our town. We've captured a couple of them. Uh, but, the, but the guard captains have been going insane about it. You mean... Well, What's your name, sir? Name's God. Let me see. Gidden? I have the Captain name written down, don't Gidden? worry. Was Gidden the name? No, this is a different guy. Okay. The, the, the whole question to never ask, what's your name? Because <laughs> then you have to pull up that. I see you pulling fantasy name generator up on the glasses. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I am that? doing no such thing. What is that then, huh? Dude. I am doing no such thing. Oh my god. As you scroll down, <laughs> let this be a Stop tip. looking into my glasses. <laughs> but he, he always wants to look into your eyes. I think we're all it's having yours. a Wizard of Oz moment. Yeah. Of like, don't stir that man behind Where the Where the fuck is human? Always well, name <laughs> bad characters. I, I it even if they're NPCs. That, that corner, you know what reason I look? Okay. No, no one has the time for that. Well, regardless, sir, what is your name and badge you? number, please? What? <laughs> what? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I need his badge number. Um, How many numbers Sarin. is that? I don't know. Well, I don't really know why you need my name. The name's Sauron. Sauron? I think I read that in a book one time. <laughs> Interesting. I'd imagine so. Well, still, due to the band that's nearby, we've been, really, um, we've been having to search everybody coming by. Even, well, unfortunately, we've also had to... Search the merchants who've been coming through. We can't allow anybody into the town at the moment. If you want, you can... Due to the griffin as well as the bandits in our town, we have to uh, keep everyone out. Guard captain's word. We... But if... How do you keep the griffin out if there's no roof no, in the town? We, no. We're trying to get rid of all the bandits from the town before we continue letting people in. Actually, I was going to ask about that. Are they causing trouble? Uh, they got into the town. They... They, we took down a lot of them. Uh, many of them are dead. There's only about we've captured about six of them right now. And, well, their leader's also in our dungeon at the moment. So they were causing trouble. Well, yes, they were causing trouble. Yes. Oh, okay. We were also sent. Kind of dumb. They went into yeah. The we, we were sent here to like kind of to to quell to this give a civil war thing. Well, that's all the way. In, that's all the way in as at the moment. Well, yeah, and we and we freed up the town here. before. We we freed up Lakehurst. Well, the guard captain probably be really happy to hear about that. But at the moment, if you really do want to help, anybody, any able hand, we're actually having a we're actually having a uh, search party. We're actually having a party in the morning. Not party with the wise, but we're having a hunting party in the morning to go hunt down that griffin. If you want, you got. Uh, unfortunately, uh, at the moment, our our guards are all injured at the, uh, from from fighting bandits, so if you, you want, want to talk want, to the guard want, captain about that. You want to hire us. Yeah, but the, I can't. The Dark Steals! No. no. But, well, <laughs> I can't really do any. I don't have jurisdiction over this, so you're going to have to talk to the guard captain for that. We were about to give him the letter that well, wait, confirmed what, what? that we fleed to rape. Link cursed from the bandit issue. Well, you can hand it over to the guard captain. He's over in the garrison. What, what's the name of your guard captain? Captain Ray. Was the... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he goes on it. Uh, uh, oh. no, no, I no, remember. I, read, I remember. I wrote it down from last session. What's oh wow! Name? So there. So the Griffin's actually a polymorph druid. That is not... No, griffins <laughs> are a whole different beast on their own. No, I was reading his notes in his eyes. Because I like staring into his eyes. Oh my god. Red's just going to look very confused about this. <laughs> We're obviously out of character. Red's trying to peek into the fourth wall already. Besides, no? if, 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 they were, if she was looking into yeah. God's eyes, I think she'd look I'm at the sun. I'm sorry that I'm asking you all the worst <laughs> To be fair, already no, looks like she's looking at the sun. Her it? eyes are like I know glowing orange. Oh my god. Wasn't it Captain Red? 
Or Gideon? <laughs> or Gideon. Yes. Yeah. Captain you can talk Gideon. to Captain Gideon. He's over in the garrison at the moment. Alrighty. I captain bet he'll be giddy Gideon. to hear us. He's the I captain guard? Right in front of him. Guard captain? Yes. Oh. The cap- captain of the guard. Right here. Well, yeah. If you want, you can talk to Captain Gideon. He should be op- he should be in his uh, quarters right now. Albeit, uh, just give a knock and he should be able to actually let you in. Red's gonna make his way towards the Gideon's quarters. Well, uh, you, we, I mean, uh, the other, here, uh, Lionel, here, watch over the gates for now. All right, I can take care of it for now. Uh, uh, as long as no bandits come by. All right, well, uh, don't worry about that. Okay, here, look, I'll lead you over to Captain Gideon for now, but I can't really lead you any further. That's understood. I have to return to my post. Uh, where can I, uh, do you have a stable nearby? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, if you want, you can, it's right over there. As he points over to a, what looks to be a, right next to the gate area, there does seem to be what looks to be a area with hay in it at the moment. There seems to be what seems to be a stable. That, and you're able to actually, uh, We can park our vehicle? Things. Yes, exactly. That is what a stable's for. The what? Ginger. 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 Does ginger eat hay? Well, I wouldn't know really. I really wouldn't know what Axbeaks would kind of eat. Well, I was asking them. Oh, sorry. Axbeaks would eat anything. They're omnivores, basically. I believe they would eat anything. Uh, would, Would ginger eat the horses? Well, as long as they don't... Well... She's if it's a carnivorous being, I, I yes. don't know. Omnivorous. All right, then I would just park in the other side. There's oh, another. Okay. There's another side. Can I hmm. check to see if I know anything about them? To know Feel free. Them? Yes. Okay. So would that be? With and it? also, if you can, try leaning a little bit further because you're the farthest, right? Now. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you need help? N- no, that's fine. That would be what? Um, intelligence. Intelligence. Okay. Okay. Or animal? animal handling, like about yes, like, it would be animal handling for this. Okay, so wisdom, all right. Wisdom, you should have good wisdom. Uh, fourteen. Oh. Fourteen. You would know they are, are usually omnivorous, but they've been they've been taught enough to where they won't attack horses and other things. Okay. They're really really stupid. <laughs> uh, Vanette just goes up to Ginger and just pats her sides like, nah, she's, she, she'll be alright. Any... Oh, yes, you're a pretty boy. Yes, you are. Anyways, she won't eat no horses. I, I, she's properly trained. Um, uh, well, uh, I'm, I am. Uh, I've dealt with them before. They usually won't eat horses either. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. That would be really Well, all right, then I'll just put her in the stable then. You mm-hmm. said you had another one with you. Uh, Gecko? Actually, yeah, Gecko was with you guys. Yes. Oh, well, uh, I mean, I don't really know anything about him. I totally forgot I was here. Where You were asleep. He was sleeping in the trunk. You were sleeping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just fell asleep. <laughs> I think God told me that he remembered that I was here. Is this God the kobold that turned to a dragon? I don't oh, know. Boy. What the hell is that? I haven't heard about that. Oh, my gosh. Leaf, are you lying to me? The, I, I'm just, well, I'm just regurgitating. If you call. want, if you got, if you all want, I could probably go back to the to the town and try to bring our ship over here. It'll take me about a day's trip, though. Uh, they, the little one here. Uh, sorry, you're you are a little bit shorter than me. Oh, it's it's no issue at all. I get that a lot. Aww. Dirty lizard. <laughs> Oh my oh my she just like just loves he's like oh. what? Oh my. I I can probably lead I can probably bring her back with me to the ship. And I can bring the ship over here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll just have to avoid uh the sky islands above. And by the way, you guys I for, I don't think I've said this, but above this entire island there were smaller uh, islands. floating islands everywhere. Oh. Um, you 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 told me this. But not. <laughs> yes. Everywhere you look up, it's being blocked by the clouds. We can see throughout the some bro- breaks in the clouds. There's like little, like like, there's like giant stalactites coming out of the ground or the sky. I mean. Whoa, 
that's so cool. Be ashamed if it fell. Oh, good. Trust me. By the way, Banana, stop falling asleep over there. <laughs> Look, I've had a no. pretty tiring day. Let me sleep. Yeah, no. well, we all have, so you don't well, see us falling asleep, do you? All right, so, everybody, uh, I'll probably head over back to the ship, and I'll bring this one with me. All right. I'll bring the ship over in about a day, about maybe two days. All right, I trust you, Gecko. Just make sure you both are safe. Yeah. Remember, we're heading, remember we're heading to Orngard. You do know where Orngard is, right? Well, we're right here. This is Orngard. All right, well, no, th well, this is Orngard. Perfect. We have a navigator. I I could navigate well enough. Where's north? Points in a random direction. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> roll intelligence to <laughs> see if you actually. You know what? I will. I will roll it. Let me get this dice. Yes, roll intelligence. You must. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I'm, be la I'm gonna cry if she gets 20. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you actually you actually rolled at the right place. Um, seven. Was, <laughs> oh dear God. Well, DM, did she point north? You point east. That's hey, uh, Ember. Ember, you see this in my hand? It shows off a compass. Yeah, it tells you where north is. You, oh. ain't, you ain't pointing north. Well, that's because I didn't feel like trying today. <laughs> By the way, Very I, may, I may need to borrow Ginger so what? I can get back quicker. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. Just don't let Ginger... Load her on... Oh, my God. We have something to load onto the ship. Oh, no. <laughs> this will be interesting. What? <laughs> we can <laughs> load Ginger in the carriage on the ship. The hell we now you? have a form of transport when we land on land. That... Actually, would be a good idea. We but may need to have that we... built on there, though. I don't think our ship has that set up. I... I'm sure we can make it fit. I mean, my ship is big enough. Well, it, I, I think what it is, we need a ramp to get onto the ship. Yes. I mean, um, I can prob. What I can probably do is, if we get to the edge of the islands, I can probably, I can probably lower down the ship so that we could just drive the carriage onto it. That works. But then again, where are we gonna store it? Actually, there is, there does seem to be a bay on the built into the side of the ship. We'll just have to lower down the, the thing so we can actually get bring it into the into the lower decks. We this can be this will be a problem for future us. Yeah, we'll deal with it later. I, I guess that's going to be well, our next uh, investment into this ship. Yeah, oh, I'm not, I'm, out of character, I really regret not getting an artif uh, artif artificer. 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 I would have done so much to that carriage to make it so cool. I can forge shit. <laughs> Damn it, I missed my opportunity! Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I can't invent shit. <laughs> oh, that's good, okay, then you are. There's tinker tools. Alright, yeah, I, I can boy. only work with metal. Um, alright, alright. You'll be in charge of that then. I was trying to say something this entire time. I was, um. It was a while, like, Ginger was like, that actually does seem like a good idea, but we have to, like, make her, like, a bed or something. Like something where she could sleep on, maybe with a little water bowl. She's fine to sleep on the ground, and we can just get water from the skins we have. I think they sleep standing. They sleep standing? I think so. Oh, yes. They, uh, Axe speaks do uh, stand up when they sleep. Yes. Oh. And it's they usually keep one eye open as well for the lookout for predators. Oh. That's fascinating. This is why axe beaks are so much better than horses. Well, Gecko, I, I second your mo your journey back towards Lakehurst. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, when, I, when we're going through, uh, just don't met, just don't uh. Just don't bring up a bunch of things about losing us some of the guards today. The, ga the guard captain, uh, he's been... He treats us all like family. We lost a couple of us a couple days ago to that griffin. I am sorry to hear about that. We went on a hunting party and, uh... It took down maybe four of us. We, uh, the two of us escaped. Me and him. 
The damn thing was strong. Well, your first mistake was not bringing along a dragon. Rats just go look at Ember just like... Well, I don't really know anything about that. It, it, Obviously. He, he's just... Rats eyebrows just kind of narrow like a little bit. What? My deepest condolences for your loss, and uh, we'll try not to step on any toes. You don't have big feet. <laughs> I, I don't know if the mic caught, picked it up, folks, but there was the most a uh, exacerbated uh, sigh from uh, Bennett, and it's just, it, it was perfect. Well, I'm gonna make my way with Alira here. I know. I'm just thinking. I'm gonna make my way with Alira here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make my way with Alira here, and I'll I'll be back in about two days with the ship. All right, safe travels. Just be safe, okay? All right, I'll try to. Watch out for griffins. And displacer beasts. Oh, they'll be fine. Gecko's a cold. I don't. They've know. handled worse. I don't think we're gonna be meeting one of those damn things again. Just don't eat it. Well, I hope not either, because they've took literally everything I've had, and Here. I've just been left with a spell book, so... Well... Well, that was your fault for carrying so much well, stuff. Well, we're already here at the guard. Really? We're already here at the barracks. Just go up... Just go upstairs and go to the right. Uh, the captain will be in there. Very well. He has my deepest condolences, and we no, will... It's no, it's no problem. We've already had our morning. All right, then. Well, I guess let us move on. Fred's just gonna start walking. All right. So as making his way downtown. Yes. Yeah. As you open Fantastic. up the doors to the garrison, you can see this area is completely filled with different armaments everywhere. Uh, do, probably because many of them are maybe uh, most of the guards are on break. You do see that there does seem to be slight memorials to what seems to be a couple of guards. One of them being female. One of them being, uh, one of them being two of them being male. Uh, to male guards. Uh, you can see that it's currently looking like kind of like a shrine in the corner of the room, and there's also a couple other things in there. there. You're li you're leaving through what seems to be a uh, there seems to be a like a uh, cafeteria in a way, and you make your way upstairs, and then you just see as you are in front of a door at the moment. As you go, as one of you. I think Red, since he was one lady, everybody. All right. So one of you begins to knock. And like you hear, doom, 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 doom. and as you were doing so, you see as now at the, you just see, uh, you hear a voice. All right, come in. Okay. Okay then. Walk in. Yeah, we're just. Guess what we did? <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't, I've never seen you in my entire life. Um. Well, uh, is there, there's a reason why you're here. Yes, we Oh, yeah, we freed Lakehurst. Oh. Well. We're also responsible for sending the bandits to this town? Oh, my God. That's a poor way of... No, okay. The bandits that were invading Lakehurst, we scared them away. And they came over here. Yeah. You, none of you look like a, like a fire-breathing fucking giant. Another, another one that... Was I a am a fire-breathing dragon. I said giant. <laughs> oh, no, he can grow big. I I just gave her I just gave guys her fire. guys you just as by the way you're looking at this very uh, this very uh, darker skin complexion man he has these he has uh, these dreads that are currently put into a into what seems a ponytail in the way he's missing one eye uh, he's wearing what seems to be somewhat heavy plate armor one uh, one shoulder plate much larger than the other and he does have what seems to be a uh, a slight beard just around the chin area that goes down. Well, all right. I can't. I don't really know what to put about sending those damn people, those damn bandits here. I can't well, really say shit about that. All I can really say is, well. Sorry about that. Uh, all I can really say is that, uh, well, there's a lot of things that are going around here. So, all right. 
I'm glad to hear that Lake Curse is actually safe. We haven't heard anything from them in months. Oh, yeah. Possibly a month or we so, like maybe three months. We were <laughs> about to give you the leather. Yeah. Oh, that the mayor wrote. He just over, hands please. the red, just like hands the. He letter. grabs. I he grabs red. this really. He grabs this really nice I letter mean, opener and he and he cuts it open, and he goes. All right. So we got. So those motherfuckers have been have been taking over Lakers and they weren't actually part of that damn group the whole time. No. Correct. Indeed. They, that saves me a lot of paperwork. They were using the name. Should of, I have thrown the guy off the side of the place? I could have. You could have, yes. That would have brought, that would have saved me a lot of paperwork. Look. Yeah, we at didn't, least we, now we know we could just dispose of them. They're in our dungeon right now. Look, alright. Is it, is that all the way you're here? Well, well, well um, uh, Captain, uh, they, uh, I, I don't know if you agreed or not. Uh, they, uh, well, the hunt. That, yeah. Oh, for the Griffin. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you, oh, so you're here for the, you're here for the. It'd be uh, a fun challenge. We've heard oh, so you're about help the, with the Griffin. Yeah, it'll probably do better than your last attempt. Shut up. Ember! Shut up! <laughs> if Kalexis? you want to be thrown into the dungeon, I don't know, I just recommend uh, shut up. Just, please don't. Just ignore her. Red just basically. <laughs> she she, she just doesn't. basically covers Ember's mouth. <laughs> like. <clears throat> we apologize about that. Just ignore it's her. There's no issue. We've already had our morning, and I know what you're bringing it up. And it's fine. I'm just tired of her mm-hmm. in general and ready for them to. Well, stop. That is why we, that is why we mm-hmm. have to put this on the party. Look. There is a reward for helping us out with this. Is it 10,000 gold? The, no! You're never gonna find anything like that unless you go to the, unless you go to the Imperial Cities. Oh. Look, the reward would be a 500 gold. That's still good. Each? No, okay. in total. 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 Okay. total. Look, we may be a larger trading town, but we don't have that much cash at the moment. I guess. I was... Due just to making the, sure. Just making sure. Due to the problems going over at Mountain Point, exclu- including uh, including near Esbrim, most of the gold has been going over to there. We've only barely had enough to trade with the other towns. Most of the gold's going to Esbrim. Yeah. And well, I, I will say, is there any whereabouts unto my father? Um, My Priest father. Hildebrand? Yes. Well, and by the way, please speak louder because it can't get to pick you up. Is there anything about Priest Hildebrand? <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, I, I re- Priest Hildebrand, we haven't really, we can't really figure out what's going on in Esbrim. They shut down the, they shut down travel to Esbrim and Gorbrim. Uh, so I haven't heard anything. We haven't even had any new No any locations, no nothing. I don't know. I, I've been part, I've been here on this my town for most of my entire life. I've never been to Esper. Only probably once when I was younger. But that was before all that shit started happening. You mean? What do you mean but by before my father kind of made things worse? You mean the artifact that he found? Well, that's that drove him to yeah, actually, break the madness. You actually notice a, a look of intrigue in his face. I haven't heard anything about a about an artifact that has been found. Oh, yeah, you should have also seen the writings all over his walls. Again, I haven't been to. I've only ever been to Lakers like once or twice. I don't know the guy. I don't know who the hell you're talking about. You just oh, mentioned boy. five seconds ago that you. <laughs> well, I know Chris Hildebrand. I don't know who the hell that you're talking about when it came to his. Like, does he have a study or? He yes. had a study. Well, then, it's my father. Well, it's... then uh, that's not news I need to hear. All I need to hear is if you're here to help out with this. Yes, thing. I just, I just want to see if you had any information. That way, I could find him. That way, I could Sorry, solve this. I, I don't have any information for you on this. Okay. Damn it. I really need this. I don't know. I've never met Priest Hildebrand in my life. And I probably wouldn't want to meet him right now. I don't think I'd want you to be the library. I'd be Probably afraid not. what you would do. Well, why? <laughs> Leave just like hard turns.
All right, Thank sorry you. about that. There was a there was a, there crying was a, child. There was a crying child. So, Grim. all right, so um, we've just like hard turns well, to you. It's like wow, it's almost like you know the person starting all these wars might get killed. But you don't want him dead. Exactly. Yeah, so we could take him. I'm sure. The, the problem that I'm having is I don't want him or other people to kill him. Yeah, and otherwise I'm, saying... I'm not gonna be happy. I guess. Is there... Hey, Leaf? Yes? Um, uh, uh, Azrael is trying to speak. Uh, Red. Red was trying to speak. Leaf, about Priest Telebrands, remember when you mentioned, or remember when we discovered that something took control? I don't, I don't think I actually... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I am I so say, sorry. I don't I remember. That you was did. during the session before and before the redo of the session. So that is all. That is all. Oh, going. oh, okay. I'm so, so sorry. Never mind. Never mind. Never okay, mind. So then, what was Bennett saying? Well, no, 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 that would have been. Oh well, whatever. Uh, if you said you were a smith, right? Yes. How much money do I have to pay you to make a muzzle? A muzzle? Just provide me the materials and. The dimensions, and I got you. Alright. Wow. Ginger doesn't bite that bad. Never said it was for Ginger. Then who is it for? Don't do that to Uncle Gag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, can you, then, can you try speaking louder? Uh, right. You, I never said it was for Gecko. And who is it for? For Blossom? Leaf looks Don't at, you dare tell me it's for <laughs> Leaf, my Leaf looks at Benetta. Is it is it who I is it who I'm thinking of? Yes. Okay. But wait, who are you thinking of though? I'm thinking of many people. Oh, well I really wouldn't mind being a muzzle, but that's just something that I really wouldn't matter. That's weird. Okay. Oh it's not <laughs> was... Regardless, we will help you. Oh my. Well alright. That's all uh... I had to hear. Look, we're gonna be moving in the brick of dawn. Break of dawn. Ooh, okay. All right. Can it be an hour after the break of dawn? No. That's still the break of dawn. Okay, but it's like Let's after look. break of dawn. She doesn't wake up at the break of dawn. Uh, I'll wake. Then up. we'll drag uh, your ass. I look, no, I her. Be, Let, I will be coming like, along with you because I have a bit of I have a bit of some things that I have to that I have to take care of with that damn Griffin. Oh, like revenge, right? Practically. I okay. lost two of my men. More like four. But they bled out when on the battlefield. We brought them back and they bled out. But it killed two of them. And again, I don't know if they told you, but I treat my guards like family. They did. Yep. Mm. And I have a follow-up. Do you want this thing dead? Or... I want this thing dead and gone. Okay. It just does that right. The damn thing's been targeting random civilians as if they were just prey. You're... Mm. And this... It, does, it needs to die. This I do this agree with that. All right. I'm okay with hunting. Look, if it was minding its own business, I would have said something by now. I would have said just to have it removed. But that thing's been killing people like it was. Well, nine. after seeing what it did in the middle of the night, that was. It needs to die. Yes. We understand I'm completely. Thinking. I had it. I'll text you. Well, yeah. Okay, we can kill it. Burn it. Mainly burn it. It's what I can cook do right it. now. Um, Ooh, cook it. Cook Does Griffin it. taste good, Red? Red's just feeling I very uncomfortable. Red, Red just has like a look of like... We'll find out. He just knows that Red has like the look of like... Hard. Even though he's like understanding why Captain Gideon wants the Griffin dead. Like he's kind of conflicted considering his family's history with Griffins. Um, you just notice that Red's expression is kind of uncomfortable. Like, he does understand that, yes, this Griffin's gotta go, but on the other hand, basically, he's just thinking, like, what if this Griffin had babies? Or what if this Griff, or what if it turned out that, oh, this Griffin had children or something, and he's kind of more worried about, like, would Captain Gideon try to, like, kill the babies because the actions of the mother? Well, look. I can look, see the look on your face. 
you're feeling, I don't know what you've dealt, I look, I don't know if you've dealt with these things before, but this is not a normal griffin. It is, it has some sort of snickness or something that's causing it, it it's insane. Look, I've dealt with griffins, I know how they are, they're usually part of Mountain Point. They usually only go to Mountain Point. That's where they live. But it came down here, and as soon as it came down here, it started killing everybody around here. The griffin had this sickness? Like some kind of... I don't know. It's not acting like a normal griffin. Red's, just, Red's eyes just kind of widen. Probably hey, that back. sounds a lot like the black water the in black. the other island. Black yeah, pudding. with that weird raven thing. This is gonna be. That's just. Should we try knocking it out first, then? See it to prove our theory. We've tried using we've tried using tranquilizers. Doesn't work. No, 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 not by that. Have you just 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 hit it hard enough? Unfortunately, we tried. We shot arrows at it. We've cut it with blades. It still kept on going. Yeah, I don't have my wings yet either. Uh, I can grab it out of the sky. Oh, work. yeah, and red flies. And by the way, I can read your shirt. It says, Monkey D. Loof. Loof. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, uh, bananas in her Banetta puts, like, puts like, her skill armor that was, out, that was out of character. <laughs> but, all right, so. <laughs> I only confirmed the one piece is in canon. No, no. The one piece. Not really. Okay, so look. It's I'm going to be the pirate king. I'm more Japanese now, so I'm actually enjoying that I can read that. Goldie okay. confirmed Japanese are canon in <laughs> Legacy of the Skies. Oh, oh God. God. Okay, <laughs> let us continue before we get off topic again. Okay. So. All right, well, look, and including the gold will allow you to go through the town. Now that we know we can just take care of the bandits, we'll let you in after we deal with the griffin. Because I don't know what, like, uh, I saw you had a carriage in front. Are you traitors? No, we, we were using that carriage to as get a means of transportation. Yes, that, oh, is, that is our see. only way yes. of transportation at the moment. Well, if it's only your only way of transportation, then. Well, well. We're, we're also, we were hired by the Viscount, or the Countess, um, to pretty much rid, you know, of this civil war that's going on. The, Count set, the Countess sent you a letter. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. why we came. Uh, we started with Lakehurst because that's where, well, I'm from. Well, then. So we're, we're kind of clearing the way, you know, clearing the influence as much as we can as we make our way down. I see. Well, if you ever can, if you see some, if you see someone uh, over there, uh, one moment, I have to bring in my notes real quick because I actually do have a name. <laughs> There's your name generator! <laughs> no, 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 the chat. If you see someone named Maybe it would be His name is Maven. Maven. If you can, if you can, if you see my brother in Esperance, please tell him that I miss him. That I'm really looking for him. Of course. We shall indeed. I do need a pencil for myself. Huh. I got pencils in here. A pen. Well, all right, if you want, if you can, uh, we can provide you, we can probably provide you some extra bedding here in the garrison, but unless you want to stay in your cart. Well, our carts uh, are- Oh, yeah, it's gone. Departing. Uh, bedding, we, we, bedding we would be preferred. two of our members along with well, us to- No, they just took, they just took the uh, bird. Uh, I'm look, like you can see there's a window right there. You actually, you can actually see at this point, only, only uh, Gecko and and uh, Elira on t are on top of Ginger, and there's no cart. It's just them running off with Ginger. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know they could fit on both. Both of them could fit on the Ginger. Well, well they're really tiny, so like, I guess. So. Sorry. Well, bedding would be preferred, anyways. All right. Well, 
Here, because you are helping us out, we'll uh, we'll provide you bedding at least for the night. Thank you. But then you're gonna, then we are gonna wake you up, so okay. be sure to be ready. Of course. Uh, Understood. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Do you have any information about those taking over on guard? Huh? Those taking over. Well, like all the bandits and stuff. That have no, they haven't off. taken over. We made sure that they didn't. They've never taken over. We just captured many of them. All they're doing is they're taking up refuge in some of the places hidden. You mean the same bandits that were using your father figure's name as a clutch? He's my father. You don't need to say father figure. Oh. I accept him as my daddy. Okay. Well, you know. But yes, I would assume that. I, I thought there would be some of those that are of Hildebrand's name. Because you... Yeah. By the way, I also heard that you guys captured the leader. Oh yeah, we did. Take, we did capture him. You, at you, least want, you want me? You want me to make him piss his pants again? Preferably not. Again, we can't let you in the town until we help us deal with this. But you already know we're not part of the bandits. Well, I, that's why I have you doing this, so I can. I, they, they, this is our form of payment to get within the town. We had to pay to get in the town. Let's move fire. Just, just drop it, please. Let's just set. Uh, yeah. No, it's like, just like, it's a crummy town. What like, do we have to like, pay no, for? Like, Ever like, leaves like brain just like snaps just hearing that. Uh, <laughs> you know, sure. If if it makes you sleep better at night, then yes, we have to pay to get into the town. I mean, it doesn't, but okay. Mainly, it's just because I need to confirm that none of you are part of these bandits. Unfortunately, I can't really... The only people I trust are now the people that are already within the town or my own guards. Well, just let Leaf talk to the bandits. He's gonna... They're gonna be afraid of him. Um, Due Ember. to the dragon fire you spell Ember! Out. Well, look. Ember. All right. I need to get some paperwork done Fine. so I can send off... I can send off the other towns that... Well, we can begin trading with Lakers again. So, unfortunately, I'm going to be a little bit busy. It's My apologies. Understood. My apologies on that. But, look, I will be... Well, I'll wake you up in the morning. Well, I'll send some guards to wake you up, all right? Mm -hmm. I guess... What time, roughly? About 7 a.m. Uh, okay. uh, I'll, I'll be up by 4. Yeah, Crack of Dawn is like 5? It depends. Depends what part of the world you're in. Well, Everyone looks genuinely way, like... You, I, I need to bring it up. Why the hell are your eyes going like that? Because I received a blessing from my father. Um, By the way, I can... I know uh, different spells when it comes to that. That's a curse. <laughs> it's not a curse! That's, oh, that's what we've been trying to... It's not a curse! I'm a paladin. I know what I can see. Well, I'm a paladin too, and I'm saying it's not a curse. It's... I'm not a paladin. I am a paladin. Okay. I can do. You're a paladin. I'm yes. A right, right. I healed you. You set me on fire. And then I healed you. Is that is that is that your trainee? Red, 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 just, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chat. I just need to describe to you. Just red over here, just looking with the most solemn expression on his face, as if he knows the amount of bullshit he's gonna do of paperwork with this man, and just nodding. Just like, just like he would have truly had sacrificing him. himself for the good of the many. I and think he's just. just they aren't going to be recognized as a paladin unless they bring him to the high paladin order. Well, you know what? Fuck you. Maybe I didn't want to be a paladin. Have you ever thought about that? Ember. But you just said that you, you know, were. Ember. You just said you were. Look, that's not my part to handle. I, look I just here. like having tattoos. I'm going to write something down. You can just keep this with you. You're a trainee now. Oh, my God. Just, I'm a little I, bit higher up. I I retire. I'm retired though, so. Um, Goldie, I was gonna say like a really interesting detail. <laughs> just basically, just Red paper. brought the wine. Red so brought like the wine bottle, and he just, just as soon as like like, like a teacher training, he just takes like a swig <laughs> of wine. Please don't get drunk in my. I'm my not. Life. It's just a little bit. Um, All right. I'm well, not. out of character. Is that wine? Is 
for it's the, about, for the it's about so 9 p.m. No. At the moment, it's, like, it's about 9 p.m. at the moment, but you can... Okay. Well, no, because I was just curious to see, like, what... Red, why am I a trainee? Because you're still you new to the paladin you're learning. profession. Uh, just like how you're still learning how to how to man the ship. Well, I know how to man the ship. Why do you keep saying that? I drove that well. I only hit one bird. Well, that's what well, well, well I, all I can really say is that. Thank. Well, again, all I can really say is thank you for your help. That will recognize you as a trainee for now. But why do I need? I really gotta get back to my paperwork now. So All right. plus paperwork, and we have to get up early. Who knows what time it is, anyways, right now? Exactly. Well, yeah. Uh, Amber's gonna like hook her head out the window. It's nine. Hi, but, but. Yeah, I sleep under the stars a lot. Okay. Impressive. I was guessing around like eight thirty. That's impressive. I, I suppose. What's the time, good yeah. man? About nine. Nine fifteen. <laughs> I am actually impressed. <laughs> well, look, we should. If we have, unfortunately, an early start to the morning, we should probably. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If we could do an, an hour after, she doesn't wake up at how, the morning. Well, wait, what? how did you? What? Yeah, you don't. How did, how did you know that? Like, she's only been with us for like three days, like, are you stalking I, her? I haven't even been with you guys that long. No, it's cause, Ember has this look of confusion on her face. She, 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 she just looks like it. What? Sandra, what the hell is going on? I, I, I think you have a stalker now. I don't know. I do not stalk her. I don't but know. Could no you one. Please take this out of my office, please. Of, of course, we, all, I we all right, apologize all right. for the. Good night. We'll we'll conflicts. see you in the morning. Good good night. I'll see you in the morning. Get your weapons uh, sharpened, repaired. Okay. Right. We've got to take a, da a damn griffin down. Oops. By right. the way, we will be trekking near Mountain Point. It is a bit of a treacherous area, so I will recommend keep light on your feet. Of course, of course. Yeah, I can move fast. Or you're gonna fall off the cliffs. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Understood. There has been heavy wind in the area as well, so be careful. Red's <laughs> just. I, I mean, it's not like you can get blown away like a leaf. Oh. <laughs> I will say, the closer you get over to, the closer you get to Mountain Point, the stronger the wind gets. That's why you can't go up. That's why you can't travel from Esbrim to Gorbrim right now. The winds are too strong. Pushes ships away. Mm. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, I could also I could also keep track of that one as well. Uh. Wait, as you see, as you see, blossom, blossom, blossoms on your shoulder, just going. Well, I could probably keep track of that one if they're stalking you. The fuck? Why would you? I'm not stalking her, you <laughs> overgrown lizard. I am not an overgrown lizard. You're I'm right, you're an average sized lizard. Wait, we're going to Mountain Point? Yes. We're going near Mountain Point. Only a, 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 at least to the foothills of it. <laughs> Is Bansville near that? No, that's a little bit further in. Because I, I need to go there. It's, a, it's about. It's usually. It's in near Mountain Point, but it's on the other side. You'll have to go over the mount. You have to go through the mountains to actually get to Banville. And uh, but yes, we'll be traveling. We will we'll be traveling around the town. So yes. All right. Well. Come we'll, on, you we'll lot. Let's about, go. We'll just head out in the morning. I already know where we're going to be heading. <sighs> All right. Red's already headed out. Cassandra's just already like out of there and still super confused as to what just happened. You hear from. Ever. You hear from within. You just hear. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're sorry, sir, for any inconvenience. And the moment she steps out, she smacks him. Oh, oh, wait, what? Someone to make me a perception check. Really. I will. Okay, I will. I'm lazy. Hang on. Wait, no. Amber is too focused looking at this train knee permit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Cassandra's just super confused. Okay, Amber, what? What gives? I have not even been with you guys for that long. Actually, You've been with us for three nights. Um. Yeah, that's it. 
let's and every see, time you um, wake up, it's always after dawn. It's like after me and Leaf. Hang on, guys. It's so like and red. Okay. Anybody can anybody can make and Manette. Uh, Actually, you're the only one who who you wake up last. By the way, anybody can make out? this perception check. I, I'm, I'm trying to, to okay. do the perception check. I have rolled a um. And you're oh, Claire? Fourteen. I rolled fourteen plus four. That is eighteen. <laughs> no, it does it automatically. Hold on. Are you sure? Uh, it so rolled to. fourteen. Because I rolled yes. fourteen. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, did you just Ooh. roll wisdom? Yes, I, yes, I rolled it. Oh, no, 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 that's wisdom squad. Oh, okay. What yeah. mad oh, luck? I didn't go to school. Fourteen plus four is that, that is 18. 18. eighteen. I got thirteen. 18. All right. Eighteen and thirteen. Eighteen. Uh, to those who are paying attention, you hear from within the room uh, with him talking to the other guard. He's like, "By the way, that man in the armor was really fucking hot." Red is just uncomfortable. <laughs> Red is just like, I, I, I can just match. <clears throat> Sir, may I remind you why you had to retire from the Paladin Order? <laughs> <laughs> Look, every man's got to have those little choices. I understand, sir, but... Well, I, just make sure he's not the some noble son of an arch paladin like the last one. I never... That never happened. <laughs> I, <laughs> that is all the character now. That is not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it, it's always out of character. What are you talking about? <laughs> upon hearing that... Upon hearing that, he's just really kind of confused because... Well, <laughs> Search your feelings, Red. No. You know, you know oh, them to be true. No. Well, I, just, oh my I will say, he at just, this point, like, each of you have made your way. Yeah. Each of you have made your way to the uh, to uh, one of the guards. Lead you actually over to the barracks room where you all get to the night's sleep. <sighs> and as it says, at the break of dawn, you're all woken up by by one of the uh, one of the guards with a with a torch at the moment, going up to you all and, go, and basically shaking you all awake. But that was already awake. We talked about. Leaf was reading a book. Just some glowing uh, tiefling eyes in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Leaf was just like, oh, I knew oh, you were geez. coming, Fred. Oh, 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 you approached me. Oh, <laughs> my God. Like Dio's sitting on his chair and she's just sitting like, what? <laughs> Guys, I was going to say if there was like a showers or something like that, or like a place to get cleaned, like Red's already got dressed up and ready. He's just sharpening his blade just in case. Uh, actually, I have a question out of character. What? Cassandra. Yes? Are all your belongings gone, or do you still have... Ignore my watch. <laughs> Dick. Uh, um, all of the belongings were gone except for, like, the actual spell book. Spell book. So you had no change of clothes, no bag, no nothing. Just a spell book. There was some clothes left. Uh, not all of it was destroyed. So she has clothes and a bag. Yes, you do have a, cha a spare of clothes. You do have whatever you had on your pack, just not like very not like expensive a whole lot. belongings. Yeah, not like your photos and everything. So a yes. couple things. First off, uh, Ember chose the night to sleep next to Cassandra's bed. Again, on the floor. On the floor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing, because uh, I assume Cassandra is still sleeping by the yes. time the guard comes in the room. Yeah. Ember is just in the dark, just very groggily sorting through her items. And uh, I, I will say, if anyone wants to know what she's doing with the items, they'll have to make me a perception check. I will probably make another one. Do you have dark vision? Yes. Why are you having so nosy? I, 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 I would say that Leaf would be reading a book next to candlelight. Okay. Whoa. But so he would are you going to... We're all in the same room, right? Yes. Okay, okay so yeah, she's gonna see. Okay. The only one that's not doing it is Leaf, because he's. I do have reading. dark vision. He's so reading his book. Uh, it's about uh, space. perception. Both of you. Perception. Right, oh. I've rolled a seventeen. Well, I will say that yes, you will roll perception. I've rolled a seventeen. Yes, I am the DM now. No one else. <laughs> no, you're not. You may be at the front of the mic, but I'm the back of the mic. Guys, so, oh, perception is dirty boy. right? Yes. Uh, Yes, what were you saying? I've rolled a 17. I've rolled... Oh, sh... I by the way, what is this for, by the way? Ember has her hands in Cassandra's pack. What? What okay. she's doing, doing, it has to take people to look in. Red is just... So, Bennett probably doesn't see because, you know, it's like see. dark. And, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Red sees Ember just very groggily... What are you doing? Folding up 
like actually folding up the clothes and organizing it into different spots before setting the pack down nicely and then just kind of like right, back just on the ground like, on the floor. What? Are, are you saying that out loud to her? No, just in his mind, he just has like the what the what the fuck expression on his face. Like Alright, well everybody wake up. Uh, that means all of you. Where are Come on, Cassandra. Even you, Firehead. I, I'm, I'm trying. Hey, I'm up. Not you. No. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm, I'm talking I'm about the li the one with the literal hair on fire. I'm trying. I'm not an early morning person. This is why I said an hour after dawn. Cassandra. It is an hour after dawn. The, sl the captain slept in a little. Cassandra, do you want... I can carry her, honestly. Hey, hey, Ember okay. shoots up. No. What was I doing for the past hour? You were snooping in Cassandra's bag. I was Wait, what? what? <laughs> you were... Oh, my. <laughs> you were just organizing her stuff, and then you just passed out. What? Are you stupid? No. <laughs> what would I, why would I want to put my hands in her bag? Huh? I it's probably got what? ashes what? and, like, what? What? and like lizard droppings. Cassie's, like, slightly awake now and just goes through her bag. Like, what, what were you... You organized what? it? That's I did not! That's what she was it's, doing. It's organized. I well, don't, I great! Don't, I don't organize my stuff. Well, maybe Blossom did it. The lizard's no. good for something. <laughs> I did no such thing. I was actually using Blossom as a light. What? <laughs> I was reading a book. Well, okay. yes, so I can, I can produce a small flame for a while, and they asked if I could be a, a, a yeah. light for reading. Red, and I obliged. Red? Oh! Red until, um... I can't see, remember? Yeah, I forgot. Ever since I got the dragon sight, I've actually been able to see in the dark. It's really cool. Ever... That what? It's not the thing you and have is isn't draconic of origin. Yes, it is. It's a blessing from my father, who is a dragon. All right. Okay. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. yeah. We'll argue about this at the yeah. end. Someone give me some coffee, please. If there is some coffee. Look, you can grab all that, and we'll, we're gonna head out right now. All right. Are you all packed up? Yes. Yeah, at least. Yes. Yeah. I guess I am now. I, Where it's like I, 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 didn't, I didn't do I will say each I didn't of do you that. have gotten your discrepancies done. Like each of you have gotten your armor polished, anything else, your weapons all sharpened, you drink your coffee, all of that's been done. I have that done two hours. And then as you are and then when you're leaving, you're seeing currently on top of what uh, on top of a horse, you see the card captain uh, that is currently looking uh, looking at you guys going, Alright, you're all finally up. Oh, I've been up, sir. I know you were. Saw your light. Yeah. I, I, I really, as I, long as you're not going to be tired. Oh, no, I, I got a full night's sleep. I, I, I was just reading just to pass the time. I didn't want to wake anyone up. Well, all right, then. All right, so, again, be careful on the journey. It's going to be a little bit treacherous. Under It'll probably be about an hour in. And if you see that griffin nearby... Let's try not to get spotted, because we're going gonna, we're gonna to be trailing it. It shouldn't be around here, though. It should be in its nest at this point. That's why I wanted to head out the crack of dawn. It doesn't wake up until maybe two, and a, two hours from now. Or is it one hour? Not about an hour, no. I've been keeping oh. track of its, of its patterns, where it goes. It flies all the way past... It, it flies all the way past Lake Hurst and goes around. It's only been attack it's only been attacking the roads though. Only? Around only the roads, no, yes. Why only the roads? I have no idea. Griffins usually just mind uh, their own business. This is Yeah, just... well if they hunt, I would assume they would have hunted like in the wild. I guess they're being trained to attack the roads. Yep. Well, at least that's my best guesstimation. Um, trained? So well there's would... some Griffins. Can, can you train griffins? Yes. Attack? Who would be training train. them and why? Or they could be... I don't know. Them. Well... Like, wherever it is, we gotta find out. Well, look. We'll talk more about... Look, right now, let's try to keep our minds focused. We need to get We need to get through this. My mind is already And focused. trust me, if you aren't, the wind will push you off the cliffs. Alright. Now, I really wish I had my wings. <sighs> now, look. Alright. 
but be, and again, there all there's also falling rocks on the, that come from Mountain Point as well. So you're gonna have to be careful on that. Well, I hope the wind doesn't blow me away. Like a leaf? Yeah. Be ashamed. Too. But unlike a leaf, I don't float. I'll just fall. And unfortunately, we don't have really many horses, so you're gonna have to go on foot. No, we have Jin. No, we don't. Nope. No. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, Uncle Gak needed it more. Needed her more. In the distance. <laughs> Stop, you stupid bird! <laughs> <laughs> the bird just I takes... will say, at this point, what, the more you walk, I will say, as you're walking up, you're seeing, you're getting more towards the clouds a little bit, and you're actually seeing more of the of these islands that are currently uh, showing up. There is a lot of these islands. Many of them, many of them are very large. Some of them are smaller. And you actually notice that some of them look like they have houses on them and such, like farmlands and other things. Great view, isn't it? Indeed, very pretty. People live up there. Oh yeah, yeah. they're. Uh, well, we do have our own skyships. They're everywhere around here. And as soon as you get even higher up, you can actually notice that now you're getting closer and closer to these mountains. As soon as you go over a hill, you can see now in the distance this massive, uh, ma- these massive mountains that just go straight up to the sky. Wow. There's floating islands everywhere. What? And you're actually noticing that the guard captain stops her a little bit. He goes, all right, look. And he points towards uh towards a towards the north. All right, we've seen the we've seen the griffin actually go come out through there. There's a cave entrance down that way. We're gonna have to go up. It's in the middle of one of the. It's taking all. It, it's harboring itself on one of the uh, one of the uh, floating islands nearby. I told you to get some sleep. We I did. Can yawn. You know, we're kind of high up. There's not a lot of oxygen. I guess so. <sighs> <laughs> but Did you get it some enough sleep? I got plenty, thank you very much. Then why'd you oversleep? You never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Red is just key. Red is just like... I, I did hear that. Hey, though. Ember. Yes? Do you, you want to get into Orngard? And by the way, as you're going to pay up, I need everybody to make me dexterity checks. Okay. Oh, boy. oh lord, no! Well, dexterity saves. Dexterity, dexterity saves. saves, like, depending on, like... I might have to burn a lucky, just in case. Uh, I'll burn a lucky. Um, um, may I burn a lucky, if that's okay? That is all right with me. Okay. May, may I burn an inspiration, because I rolled a one. <laughs> You may burn your inspiration, although I would recommend saving it, but that's on you. I rolled you know what? Screw it. I, I, I actually did not roll one. I rolled a two, so I, I got a seven. Mine is good okay. Bad. Let's see. All right, um, so... Yours? Oh, wait, that's mine. Really... <laughs> okay, so I got 22 for 22? that reroll. Uh, the save. Yeah, for the save. Love. What? It's like... It's in that box right now. Oh, yeah, I, so I did it. Total. What was... Click it. I did. No, 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 no. Don't click that. No? Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. There, uh, no. Love. That, what? Click the actual number. The plus zero. Plus zero. <sighs> mm. Oh, God. Okay. So, to those who are, to those who are, uh, getting closer, a breeze of wind pushes forward oh, wait, well, as you just you feel... Me. As you get closer and more closer to the mountains, you see you're completely fine. The, your armor just keeps you sitting there, like, oh, this is fine. To those who are to those who are lighter, you see you're pushing. You're getting pushed back by the wind. Oh, <laughs> so what you see? Yeah. Uh, you rolled an eight. What was yours? I want to know the DC. I'm not gonna say Wait, the DC. Yeah. You, you did it right. I refuse. Oh, <laughs> I, I rolled an eight. You do not pass. Cause okay. did I pass? I rolled an eight as well. You do not pass. And I rolled a seven, so I did. <laughs> Jinx! You owe me a drink. Oh. Could anybody who got below uh, ten fell? <gasps> fell. Fell. No, fail. 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 Okay. Okay. I was like, wait. You just said that we were being slid. 
No, right now you're being pushed down the mountain a little. Oh my gosh. And by the way, these roads, they're, they're also like loose dirt. So you're just you're just bringing down smaller oh stones gosh. going with you right now. <laughs> and it's been pushing you further and further down. <laughs> but it's not enough to push you forward. Your your movement speed is now only twenty. Going up. Everybody. No. To those who failed, failed, your movement speed is now twenty instead of thirty. Oh crap! Going okay. up the mountain. Did you? I failed. So oh, like, yeah. No. Only only the dude in the fucking like heavy armor passed. Cheater. <laughs> cheater, cheater, where did you meet her down at Ernie's bar? Did I you had... hide your ring in the pocket of your chair? I... Okay, let's not let's not sing songs, I had a... copyright. I had, I had the lucky eight. feet. By the way, if anybody needs D20s, I have two of them. Okay. Uh, the captain gets 13. Oh, look so... at that. He doesn't trust the D&D Beyond dice. He's using physical dice. Well, yeah. Coward. But Coward. I will say, it is a slower trip going up. But you can see, it's really strong wind. These are probably maybe 40 to 50 mile per hour winds going up. And slowly but surely, you start seeing, uh, you start seeing now that there is a bit of what seems to be an outcrop going in. But you notice something that the road itself seems to have eroded off. And now, and now you're noticing that it's a much thinner, and you can see the guard captain looks over. Well, sucks they're about the horse. The, the road ro eroded away. We're gonna have to go on foot. We've been on foot. You mean you have to go on foot? Well, I can't bring the horse over a two foot gap. Don't worry about all the dice, Billy. <laughs> it's it's nothing you need to worry it's about. A, it's like Why do you carry dice on you, sir? It's <laughs> very confusing. Okay, I mean, well, I carry I'm cards on me. Okay. You carry what? I have a deck of playing cards. I'm a gambling oh. man, all right? Same. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, I like playing gambling games, but I don't gamble. Is that why you're retired, Paladin? Were you two gambling at night? I don't need to speak of this. We don't speak of that. But look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hitch my horse right here. I have a couple of sticks, I can just keep the horse uh, stabilized right here. In this exposed view? It's fine. Okay. I right guess, now, but the grip comes by. And if we lose a horse, now that we know that we can trade, we can always get more. Well, that's rather ins insensitive. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, so losing a horse is fine, but losing a couple men is it? Ember! Ember! Ember, <laughs> we are going to die. If you don't listen <laughs> and shut up. I'm just saying, it's, what does my father call it? Hypocritical? Look, they can say whatever the fuck they want, I don't care. Oh, then I'm why do you have an issue with it then? Stop! Look, you don't mind. Going forward and ignoring that one. Please, please, <laughs> ignore her. Just be careful going across. It is treacherous. And he's oh. gonna make a roll from. Oh no. All right, so yeah, no, he goes across, and you see he begins to slid. Um, can I just pull him back up? And he, you see, as he grabs onto the edge at the moment, as he's now, it's now hanging off. Can I just, uh, uh, can I just pull him back up? Roll me a strength. Uh, roll me can strength. I, can I help? He's wearing heavy plate too. Can I help? Yes, you can. All right, so I will help as well. All right, so I well, guess I gotta do it with advantage then. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see. Um. So I got a 15. I'm sorry, I'm just like, um, I'm just trying to look at the save, at like the saves and stuff. I'm, I'm still getting used to like, it on yes. the phone. I'm um, just strength with advantage? Yes, just strength with advantage, please. Yeah, so just roll it twice, because I, I don't think there's a way to do, uh, the neat command. I will just say just roll a d20 twice. Yeah. Wait, there is no, yeah, exactly, because there's no... Fancy command for the phone. Okay, roll twice because we're doing advantage. Yes. Okay, I will take the um, I would take the, the soft 20. twenty. I'll take soft the soft 20. twenty. All right. The other one was a twelve. Okay, so yeah, you both of you are able to get him up just fine. How many you want to see the rolls? All right. Yeah. Both of you are able to get him up just fine, and he goes. All right. 
Yes, thank you for that. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah, yeah. Lost my footing there. But, well, look. Hmm? I'll probably. At least we know that it's a little bit. We're gonna have to take off our armor for now. We're gonna have to either carry it with us. We're too heavy for this. Red um remembers that he could, if he wanted to, he could fly there. If he, he can, wanted if you to. Want. For how long though? Well, and the, the, and the wind will affect. Oh, will affect. No, actually, the wind's from. from no, they wouldn't. It, it's blowing downward, so you would be fighting against the wind. So it really depends. Can you fly for long enough at probably twice the normal time it takes? Look, if you're trying to fly, I don't know, like, you. what are you, an ASMR? Red just, like, kind of looks at the... Kind of looks at Gideon, like... I mean, he is a paladin. Um, I, I, aren't paladins usually... I can tell by the glowing eyes underneath your helmet. Um... Yes? I don't think you'd be able to fly through this wind. It's too strong. You could try, but I don't know. Basically me saying you could try, but it'd be disadvantage. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna risk it then. Well, alright. So, look, and I'm not saying strip down to your britches, I'm just saying just tick off your hair plate if you're wearing plate. Okay. He takes all. I must someone not, else carry it for now. Have how you, much does it weigh? Red. Um. Plate mail weighs about fifty to sixty. Well, pounds. it's like a half breastplate. That one so. weighs thirty-five. Wait. Second. How does a half breastplate weigh more than? It's heavy metal. It's still a medium armor. It's. I remember that half breastplates are those that don't have disadvantage on self. Well, yes, remember. but it's still going to be... Uh, armor weighs a lot. Okay, I didn't know we are using encumbrance, but okay. It's not encumbrance rules, it's just that it weighs a lot. Okay. Well, we actually technically have to use encumbrance because I have a magical item. Oh, good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... So how much does it weigh? I think, like... I believe it was medium for 35 pounds, uh, heavy is 50. And, I, and if I remember correctly, I can only hold up to 100 pounds in my bag of holding. It shouldn't weigh much. So, you, you said how much it was? 30. Yes. I think 35? it's like 35. 35. I can hold it in my bag. All right. <laughs> it, it does take 10 minutes to take off your armor, though. Just like the chest part to like, just yeah. like the chest part? All right. It takes about 5 to 10. Yeah, he just takes off like the chest part and now he's kind of... Shirtless? No, you. I would say you do have some things underneath. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. You do have a shirt. All right. Not black. Unless you don't want a shirt. Oh uh, yeah. Unless you don't want to. But it's fine. But like the captain, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think like yes, normally Red doesn't have a shirt on, but like today's oh, like oh. I feel like I'll need it. <laughs> yeah, he just has like the black channel. Shirt underneath. Can I check okay. if the captain is visibly? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yes. you, you look yes. over. Uh, he has a stoic face. That's so gonna be. So you're gonna have to roll uh, against his uh, against. Uh, you're gonna perception versus uh, uh, deception. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I, will, I will just say that Leaf right now is pretending that his uh, bag of holding is like is like a Pac-Man. He's going. Oh, that is nom, a, nom, nom, that nom. is a seventeen. So let me just see. Um, I did a nineteen. <laughs> nineteen. So you beat him. So oh, you look God. over. You look over the captain Gideon. He just he he looks over for a second, then looks away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, don't you wear plate mail? Yes, it's a scale ar fish scale armor. It does uh, that if it is a metal? heavy plate, then you would have to remove it as it would give disadvantage on going across. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, okay. gosh. Well, does she wear a shirt underneath? She does. She wears a tank. I, I don't have enough in the bag to fit. Um, oh, no, good grief. Are you sure? Oh, we're just piling on the horse. All right. But we can't you bring said, the, oh, yeah. oh, we have to leave it here then. Ooh. You say you got to leave oh, the God, horse. This is no. Here, wait. Right. Hey, hey, just give, oh, me it's a, get worse. give me a few seconds. And then you just see, like, Leaf is just, like, grabbing, like, okay, there's the torches. Put that in my backpack. Okay, let's put this in my backpack. All right. 
All that's in there. For the sake of brevity, you have enough space in there yeah. to Actually, get Actually, scale mill is uh, medium armor. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it'd be medium. it would still be about 35. So yes, I will say for the sake of brevity, each of you are able to, uh, each of you are able to get across now just fine without the armor. Uh, okay, okay. So I have a question here and- Yes. I'm doing this for in-character purposes, okay? Okay. And I'm saying this also with the understanding from chat. How ample is Bennett? <laughs> oh, sweet oh, Jesus. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the first. Well. Ample? Like, what are you. She, I. Her, uh. How is she built? She to is. Say, to how, say it bluntly. She like, lives up to her name, her last name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Wait, does that mean pure muscle? Pure muscle? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, like women power bot power building build? Yes. Okay. <laughs> have, have you seen that? I a little bit. Okay. I, I, you know what? Like, uh, but, but point is, it's close to that, but not so like. It, it, it's not like built for competition. It's like, like okay, Mikasa It's like the original She-Hulk yeah. design. Mikasa? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mikasa. And uh, Command from Attack on Titan. Yeah. Yes. But Rich. I will say, but still fe feminine figure. But okay, yeah. well, I'm, I'm just going to say, Ember's eyes are just... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just really looking sure. right at, at her. I'm looking right at Vanette. Just not, not even trying to hide. Her eyes are just... <laughs> oh, I don't think you could hide it. You're glowing. <laughs> Tying, like, just flashlights her. are quickly just <laughs> braiding her hair just so it won't get in the way because it's like long and loose. Yeah. At this point, I will say each of you, now that you were, you removed the armor, you get it, you're able to get across just fine without having to make any saves. All right. Okay. So for sake of brevity, you make your way across. And you're noticing as, as you're making your way across, there is now bridges that lead. There's a bridge that leads directly into what seems to be a, a much larger looking floating island that looks to be a little bit above. The wind seems to have gone down slightly. Uh, the closer you get towards these, the closer you get to these floating islands, there seems to be a one island now that seems to be blocking the wind. So it goes down by a lot. And again, for the sake of brevity, you're able to get back on your armor. Okay. Yep. I better put the You're able to get your armor back on. It does take 10 minutes. It takes 10, 10 minutes, minutes to remove armor. It takes 10 minutes to, to put it back on. I just... Ember's eyes have been on you for those whole 10 minutes. <laughs> I just have the... Muscle! Wait. But actually, she's more She's more of... Uh, what's what's that guy from Full Metal Alchemist? The buff dude? Her, uh, blonde hair? Armstrong, but his sister! Oh, his sister! His sister! <laughs> and by the way, I'm pretty sure what they were meaning uh, is... Oh... No, full build. Full build. She likes the proportions <laughs> on the net. She has a type! She has a type! Red is just like... <laughs> I guess All right. I, well, um, I was yes. gonna imagine also, like. So Bennett has nothing to say about this, huh? Uh, well, like I said, Ember's not hiding this at um, all. Guys. All right. Let's let let's let uh let's let Red finish. Um, I just imagine like, I already cross. He just puts on his armor, hoping that the captain wasn't peeking at him. He seems to be way too focused on. What How do you know that I gave you back your armor? Oh, I, I just <laughs> imagine like Red just like looks at Leaf like Leaf um. I'm ashamed if this bag fell off. Just kidding. Oh my Leaf, god. Leaf, Leaf is, Leaf, that is where Leaf will end the joke and then immediately like, okay. Yeah, let me see. Reach that. into the bag. And Red just pulls his armor out and he just puts it back on. Just glad that the captain's more focused on serious stuff and so just like, ooh. <laughs> no, you, he, he looks way too focused. And he goes, yeah. all right, we should. its nest should be almost nearby here. The wind, we know the wind has gone down now. Yeah, it's already taken us about an hour and a half, especially we had to get across that. Well, you know, we had to get across from from that erosion. So I will say be careful, it should be out and about by now. If, as long as we can make our way over, we should be fine. Be careful the fauna around here. We haven't been, we've been around this island for a little bit, but we still don't know if, we still don't know what's around it. I see. At this point, I want each of you uh, to make me uh, perception checks. Oh lord! Oh boy! Perception, perception. Also, it's 
The reason she didn't notice Ember is because she was too busy trying to get everyone safely. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Goldie, okay. So I rolled a twenty-two, and I'm showing that as proof. Okay. I am. Oh, okay. I can easily show all the. One on earth. So while everyone else is rolling. I want to say that, like, the amount of obliviousness, obliviousness Bennett has is staggering. Because, like I said, Ember is just... <laughs> She's like, crazy. even a blind woman knew Ember was staring right at her hoo-hahs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you have... <laughs> what? Okay, no, fine. No, Jesus. No. Is it bad that I said she can actually, like, make him... Like, a, a dude can do it with his pets? <laughs> You okay? You, you just get to hear no, just the. I don't like oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. Brush but is focused. at this point, I will say to those who have made those rolls, you are now you you uh. To those I got a five. You don't find anything. I got uh, a lower roll. I got a nat one. So shut up. <laughs> All right. I got. So, I even showed you the roll. With it your was... twenty-two. I uh, remember this. Yes. You, you, you're you looking around, and you're actually noticing that there's a couple of feathers that now begin falling from the sky that you're able to just collect. You're noticing that you're just seeing a bunch of feathers, and they're, and it looks like it's going off towards the distance a little bit. And you see the guard captain looks over at you. see Gideon looks over at you and goes, It's nearby. I can tell. The feathers are falling that way. Well, then we probably know where it's going. For sure it's just not the rain and front of it. I want, let me, I want each of you to roll me, uh, one person roll me 3 d20s. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, can I try? I haven't tried yet. Yes. Oh god forbid if it's raining. Oh my. Well it's windy. It has to be windy by default. Okay so windy is by default. So roll 2d20 I guess? Yes roll 2d20. Two. I, I, I'm just saying um, rain, water. So yeah. two or three? Two. Two? Okay. Um Goldie? Yes. <laughs> Um, what direction, which direction was the, um, feathers? Uh, okay, so 13 and 15. Okay, so, one moment, I will say. Uh, there does seem to be a very light rain. And at, and while at this point, it's not rain. You see snowfall. Oh. Uh, wow, the weather oh, here boy. is really weird. And it is very, very cold going up these mountains. I like how we started the day off. Yesterday, really hot, and now it's snowing. Getting towards the mountains, it starts to snow, and it's very cold now. I, I mean, to be fair, when you got closer to my volcano where I lived, it got really, it started raining black ash, and it got really hot. Yeah, but you're walking towards the volcano. We literally would go one day, like, look at one, at the last um, <laughs> island. One day, it was clear as day. The next day, stormy as day. Then the next day... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's snow. Like, um, Goldie. Yes. Isn't that because of the Which portals? Which direction were the feathers cold, falling from? It was cold one portal with a lady. Um. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I, let's try to keep it to one person speaking at a time. Uh, so the feathers, on the other hand. Yes. The feathers begin falling toward uh, a little towards the east, towards probably, the and they are falling rather quickly. You're able to see what seems to be like a trail of feathers. A reference uh, east. The feathers were falling from that direction. They're creating like a little trail. Oh. Oh, I guess they are. Huh. And at this point, you begin following these this trail for a while. It goes on for a bit. The snowfall begins collecting more and more, and at this point, it's getting it, it's a very very cold. A little bit colder than most would imagine. It to those who are uh, to those who are wearing robes and such, it's no problem. Uh, to those who are wearing armor that gets really cold, it is actually very very cold on your armor. Your armor begins collecting a bit of snow, so you have to shake it off over time. Yeah. yeah. And at this point, you begin seeing this. Uh, to those who have a map, you begin seeing this right here. You're making your way through the forest slightly. Forest? Uh, you're noticing that this area seems to be a little bit closed down. You're actually, uh, as you look over to the to the left, there's just a body that's decomposing next to this log. Oof. Nice. Um... The griffin? 
No. 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 It seems to be humanoid in a way. I, 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 I'm sorry. Ember, ever? No, I mean, like, you think the griffin did this? Perhaps. Mm. Can I investigate the body? Uh, yes, you may. To see if, like, it, or can I make a medical check to see if it's actually done by the griffin? Or if it's done by something else entirely? Yeah. Um, Would you actually notice something that, uh, as you're all looking around, you're actually seeing uh, Gideon is just looking away from this at the moment, like... like okay, I rolled a 12 on the medical check. It seems, uh, it seems to have been such as that. Let me remove Gecko because he's not there. <laughs> Cassie's Wait, gonna what am I doing here? Cassie's, Cassie's gonna be shy. <laughs> okay. Because of the snow. Some elderly yeah. tar grabs and at this, him and yeah. <laughs> You see, as uh, this is going on, you're, you're noticing that Gideon at the moment it is looking a little bit like, like more sadder, and he goes, This is one of the bodies we couldn't bury. I see. Do we want to take it back when we come back down? Yes, if we can. Seems like the griffin is nearby. It's nest is that should be around here somewhere. Hmm. And speaking of which, I want everybody to make me investigation check. Okay, investigation. Uh, I suck at those, but I will try. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, zero intelligence! <laughs> so zero intelligence! Um, a four. Well, I don't know much. Yeah, investigation. Um, I rolled a four, therefore I don't know much. I, okay. bro, I got a six. I got an 18. I got a five. <laughs> I haven't rolled good at all. Hey, what does B mean on the... B means 20. What? I'm sorry, I rolled a B for the first time. I didn't know <laughs> 20? Oh, what? You rolled a nat 20. Is that what it means on D&D Beyond? Yes. No, let me see. When you rolled a 20 yeah. on the dice... Oh, so you got a natural it, 20? Okay. I got oh, I'm sorry, what am I investigating? 19? 18. You, yeah, you're looking like... around for a nest, and actually, you uh, notice the way, as you're pushing through some of the bushes, you're actually noting, noticing this site. One moment. Oh, I gotta actually go to the... Yeah, yeah you gotta... did you, that's why I want the computer... That's why I wanted you guys to be sitting around, so you could be around one computer. Yeah. Uh, as you're noticing okay. this site... It's fine. Oh... No you're oh, noticing what seems to be oh, you're noticing a very very large nest well, there seems to be at least two bodies here and even one of a horse uh, you're noticing as many of the bodies look very like just like they're gouged into many of them are missing their heads many of them many are missing arms and other different body parts and you're and as this is going around you're making your way through and you actually notice something as you're going through this. You're noticing two other bodies on the nest. What? One oh, of them looks boy. to be much larger. It looks to be like a griffin. And you're also noticing a bunch of destroyed eggs. Red is just horrified upon the sight of this. Oh boy. What the? Amber's the body no. looks old of that much larger griffin. Oh, so no. it's definitely dead. It is. It is almost. It is looking like it has been dead for many weeks, maybe months. Red it's is a decomposed corpse. Red is visibly disturbed upon seeing the corpses. Well, upon seeing the corpse of a griffin, and of course the destroyed baby eggs. Like of course, Red's just looking very disturbed by all this. Yeah, but. With that natural 20, though, you notice that near the one that, near the body, there seems to be an egg that is untouched. A whole egg. Amber. So we already established that the guard captain says that the, um, that the uh, griffin is not around, right? He said it was around the area. It is around the area? So Ember's looking with her uh, crimson eyes, and she's kind of, hey, uh, Red. What? Why would a griffin hang around an area if everything's dead? Could I see if I know why? Well, no, no, no. Use your reasoning here. Think about it. Why would a bird... That's just the weird thing. Usually griffins... Don't do that, but... Well... That's... But yet, why would it... 
But the bigger question is, why would this griffin leave its young, leave its chub in this nest if there's no one to take care of it? Well, you see, I was going to say because they're all dead, but... There's the one egg. You didn't see that. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Sorry. When we're going to have to think this the griffin's mate. Yeah, but... It was its mate. Hmm. Well, no, it's just there is an egg left, I think. What? There's an egg? Yeah, it's that one by the tail. It doesn't look cracked like the others. Question. Because I don't know anything about griffins. Do they mate for life? Um. Yes. Yes, they do. They mate for life. They mate. So they mate for life, cracked eggs, and one living. This is... We either ran into Mama Bear or Papa Bear's nest. Um, this is not good. I think that's probably why it's been attacking people. I think maybe some people killed its mate. Some is, people killed it. Is it what those bodies are? But there's, I, I don't know those men. As you're no, noticing around, there's two bodies right there uh, from that, lo- that look like guards. They look more like, like, more like adventurers or, or like bandits in a way. And they're like, okay, I've never known those men in my life. Huh. Well, I mean, it... Mm. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right to kill the griffin right now. And as you're saying this, you hear from within the sky, as crashing down to the ground (laughs) on all fours, spreading, spreading dust everywhere, shooting throughout the entirety of this area, this very large griffin with its eyes piercing through the dust now that's not collecting to the ground all covered in arrows slashes there's swords that are stuck within it and you're just seeing that this thing is now looking directly at all of you it spreads out its wings and lets out a deadly cry i need you all roll me in this shit red what? is just looking he's just looking i'm gonna be honest red is looking very so if we can so, if, so we wanna, and, if we do yeah. want to play some music uh yeah. it would have to be uh made by uh Let's you see. know who the uh the, the i rolled a three the D&D <laughs> man himself roll? i rolled a three on this you know the music <laughs> i've been using the, uh, I rolled a 10. Why am I not? I've been, I've been rolled above a 10 all day. You I know, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> this I, will play, I will play some music on my today. side for the for the game if anybody will, uh, actually Okay, so yeah. just let you know, Goldie, I rolled a 10. the roll 20 dice. Because the roll 20 right. dice hates everybody. I'm playing music for the stream. Can we go grab my dice? Maybe. I, don't know. Uh, I am angry. Here. I haven't rolled above a 10. All right. So we're, I'm going to, one moment, I am just going to uh, put the music just, at uh, least for the I stream. just imagine that, like, Red just looks very sad in the pond scene, like, the side. Yeah. Just there we go. like... Let me know if the stream also can hear music on their side. Yeah. Uh, there's no music for us, but there is music on the stream. I was hearing it a split second ago on my end. But for now, we will take a break, as I'm going to write down uh, all the initiatives and such. Uh, okay. Hey, look. Can you plug in my charger I, into the I can't the believe I've been getting low rolls this whole... But I all of you can I talk amongst each other while we're on our little break. I think I might have found a penny again. Yeah, I can hear it on my end. Me but too. I, just, I need to probably turn it down. Um, there we go. Oh my goodness. Right. So, uh, can you all tell me your initials again? It was a three for me. A three? Yes. Oh. Okay. I got a three as well. Literally a one. A one? A one! Okay, so the griffin is actually going first. Oh, you got the highest initial. Dear lord. Son of a. Uh, uh, These rolls are really ticking me off. All right, so it was a, it was a, it's okay. it was two threes. It's okay. Um, uh, what did, what did a Leaf get? He got like a, um, I have no clue. He's got like, um, hang on, we'll just So he died. So no Leaf, one... what did you get? I rolled an eight. 
Eight. Eight. Okay. So you're actually. Uh, what did you get for this shit? Ten. I'm gonna grab a All right, fortune so cookie. Alright, so Griffin. Then it's gonna be Ember. Oh wait, no, no, no. I think I, I rolled an eight plus five. I think I rolled oh, sorry. thirteen. You're good. You rolled a thirteen. All right okay. then. Yes, we the Griffin. Lee. Watch the cord. Ember. Who has the higher initiative between you two? Between whom? I know that much. Yeah, between you, between uh, Red and Bonetta. Um, I have to hire Dex, I believe. Uh, yes. All right. So, uh, so then maybe Red, Bonetta, and then unfortunately, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, uh, Lashley is going to be Cassandra. But yeah, unfortunately, Gideon will be going after Leaf. Oh, okay. With a fifteen. Oh, Gideon. Gideon will be. Gideon is fighting. If he had a 15, You said he's going after Leaf. Even though he had a 15. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, as in, okay, I, I no, no, I missed. You, you thought Gideon was gonna like, attack you? I'm like, wait, I'm like, when is Gideon gonna? Turns out he was the Griffin's lover this whole time. <laughs> oh, not that you hurt. All right, so Red right. is more uncomfortable <laughs> by this. <laughs> and then Red will be our sweet harem slave. All right, well, I will say at this point, you see the Griffin. Anybody within 30 feet of it, I need you to make oh, me nice. a wisdom saving throw. Hey, me guys. I'm not using the Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now you Can know I why I wasn't in too. sports. Um, Goldie? Yes. Just for clarification, didn't Red have advantages against Griffins? Yes, but this is a different ability. This is not something that you would know of from a Griffin. Oh, uh, okay. The Griffin is using its seduction ray. Uh, Holy no. unnatural. Uh, um, wisdom, right? Yes, and I actually will add now the Griffin onto that. Wisdom? Yes, wisdom saving throw. Um, actually, let me roll this and by the way, let, and by the way, wow. I will say, if uh, if you're rolling the tables, they all get picked up on the mic. Okay. Which be great. Which is gonna be great, or no, being sarcastic, that, or not? Like, I'll, no, I'm I just won't. saying. I'm just saying. If okay. You can roll it uh, somewhere else other than the mic if you want. If you not, because if you're closer to the mic, it'll get like you'll hear like a. So you don't want me to. No. Okay. Hand, all right. That's all I so to know. one hand, I. I roll a 14 plus wisdom. Mm. That is plus two. I rolled a 16. 16. Right. You're fine. I rolled a 16 as well. 16, you're fine. What are we rolling again? Um, I think we're wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom oh, saving throws. Um, one hand, I want to use my lucky bow. The other hand, would it feel right? And by the way, I gave you all control over the token. Okay. 17. Um, 17. Goldie? 17, you're fine. Yes. Um, I'm just wondering, because like one hand, I still want to burn another lucky bow. On the other hand... You have three of them. I would not reason. recommend it, but you are you are welcome to if you like. I'll just burn an, another one and then just save the last one just in case. All right. I will see what I get. Ah, I, I got a 14. 14? Don't know if that's fine or not. You fell. Oh, okay. I rolled a 20. You make it. 16. So everybody else, let me roll for Gideon. Uh, he got a nat 20. So he's fine too. You see it to everybody else, you're fine. You, uh, with them being 30 feet of it, you are now afraid of it. Well, Red's just like, he's just It's kind of, unnatural. He's just it's like... Unnatural. It goes against everything you've learned about griffins. <laughs> kind of. It's an abomination against nature. Um, Red's just unsure how to feel. Like, he's kind of like... You know that moment where you're like kind of frozen in fear? Hesitant. Yeah. And as, you're going, as it's seeing this, it's going to charge forward to the nearest person and is going to make an attack. Damn it, why? Vendetta right there. But why I is will it say, a healer? Because you were more near the nest, so everybody move yourselves where you want to be. This on corner the you want to move. Um, I'm... I will say Leaf would want to be either second or first in line. I guess I'll just be third. Okay, so where? Right there? Yeah. Let's leave, so sure. Well, no, I'm just asking. Um, right there? I really should have brought in a, a barbarian. We got Leaf. Yes, Leaf is the best. Leaf. But Leaf is barbarian. a Leaf barbarian's is... better. Yeah, but why? Yeah, but Leaf is also barbarian's a barbarian. better. Leaf is barbarian's better. Guys, is barbarian's better. Guys, guys. Do you have strength and dexterity saving throws? Yes. No, you don't. Yeah, I you, you, you guys, let's just 
Let's Continue. keep this in the game for now. We need to. We need to focus. Is this, on this. okay? Like how uh, it is? Wow. Well, um, I would actually say Ember would probably be. Where's Ember? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> what you done with Ember? <laughs> One second. They put her in the in baby <laughs> dub for being Don't worry naughty. About it. Don't worry about it. It's too late for that. <laughs> She's been too Oh, many. no, not Giant Ember. <laughs> <laughs> giant Ember. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that's allowed, the allowed to be giant allowed to be giant is Leaf. <laughs> Ember would have a field day. Her ego would be through the roof. Literally. Bigger is better. There you go. Okay, and then... Okay, uh, Ember would actually probably be like... But yeah, try to move your... You can move towards right there. this area. Um, can't we can't move Ember. Can't move Ember? Let me move Ember. Let me get the... Ember. Ember cannot be moved. She is, she is unshakable. So she I'm is an immovable cool. object. There, there we go. All right. There we go. Should be fine. All right. Okay. So she would probably be like right here, I would say. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Where does everyone else want to be? Like I um, said, I would be for, I would be the closest or... I, I'd be ahead of the party. I would recommend. So right. That's why I wanted everybody to be facing this way. Yeah. So you have the computer in okay. front of you guys. It's fine. I can get up and look at it. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, you need a cease and desist. Have yeah. Bonetta on the back. She's the healer. She doesn't yeah, go up yeah. front unless you, she has to. So like that? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay. We're all in a line. Yeah. Why are we all? We're in a conga line. Um, yeah. May I use your mouse? <laughs> if that's because, yeah. because you're all because you're all like that. I'm gonna be moving everybody to random positions. Oh no no no! no. I want to be in front. Look, we made a conscious decision to. No, move we the didn't. Pool over. Yes, but you're all in a single line. Oh. And I was trying to move. Here. That's our choice. And by God, we will die on this hill. Um, I'm gonna die on another hill. <laughs> there. Oh. Better. Yeah. Better. I'll just die on the hill that's being kissed by the men, okay? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but I thought you follow the sun god. And the sun. So why would you want to be kissed by the moon? I'd be kissed by the sun. Well, at this point, <laughs> it's going to be charging towards. It's going to be charging towards the nearest person, which is the boy. Which is the boy. Oh no! Here comes the boy. That is a, se that is a seventeen to hit. That is a. If I remember correctly. All right, oh, it's going in for it. It's going in for a claw attack at the moment. Yep, yeah, 17 matches. All right, so, so yes, is, it is yeah. going in for a claw attack at the moment. So, that is going to be 10 points of piercing damage on you. And it just slashes it directly into your side. Uh, oof. Uh, but then, it's going to use a second attack to go for a beak attack. That is a 11 to hit. Miss. All right. You got him once, you won't get him again. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I didn't see it coming, guys. <laughs> oh, Meg is there! Red is just... I didn't see it coming. Red is just, like, terrified of seeing Griffins behave this way. <laughs> oh my goodness, Red. <laughs> this thing is attacking completely wildly. And Red's just kind of mortified. Well, it's moving action. It's going to it's going to take to the skies, but because of its for, because of the force of wind it has around it, you can't take a tactical opportunity on it. Uh, so it takes wait, to the sky. Wait a minute. Wait, what? It's moving action. But it's, it's a special ability of it. Okay. So yeah, normally we would, but its own ability to up to take off prevents us from doing that. Yep. Because okay. it's pushing the wind with its large wings. Mm. I guess. So now it takes to the sky thirty feet up. So it, it, it ran towards me, hit me, and then left. Uh, like that motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> hit and run over here. As it's right here, it only um, used about ten. It only used about ten movement speed to actually get over to you guys, due to being a large creature. I'm counting with the tokens. This is but yes. And but that is its action. <laughs> it's thirty feet up in the air at the moment, though. Okay. By the way, where's Gideon? Gideon. Uh, I will add a random NPC on the map. <laughs> nah, nah, you need to put... Hi. I need to see everyone who is a possible slave for a HP. I will what? use I will use a token that I have used for an old uh, old game that I ran a little bit ago. That'll be Captain Gideon. It's one of my old uh, players on my uh, oh, okay. game that I didn't do before. Who, 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 who players it, man? Uh, it is a, it is a completely randoms. It was randoms. Okay. There we are. That'll be Captain Gideon. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so whose turn is it next? 
Well, is we leaf? Poor leaf. You know what leaf's gonna do? He's gonna walk up. Well, like Remember, it is 30 feet, feet in the air. I oh, yeah, yeah, no. And he's gonna do a ready action. Or uh, he's gonna take the evasive action. Because okay. Because I literally can't do anything. All right. Because it's windy, so if I shoot it with an arrow, the arrow's gonna hit me back in the face. All right. So, with Gideon, he is going to pull out a short bow. He's going to take a shot. But, because of the wind, it's a disadvantage. Uh. So, that is a 13 hit. Unfortunately, that does not hit for him. So, he's going to take another shot. Because he is a multi-attack. So, again, disadvantage. But, I don't think it can get any lower than a 4. So, he misses both attacks. Oh, damn, the fucking wind. All right, all of you, take positions. I already did. Well, good for you. Um. I can't do it that way. Oh, oh, I see. Well, uh... now, on the turn order, it is going to be Ember. All right, Ember is going to firebolt. Uh, goddamn. Well, I am going to. I'm going to do something. I want to move the mic a little bit closer to me, just so that whenever I'm talking, it picks it up. Um. There we go. But it's gonna. Be It'll fun. still pick up everybody. Don't worry about it. Uh, Doctor all with this advantage. Nice. Out. You closed. All of the tabs. Thank you. I did? Yes. Yep. Thank you. It's touch screen. Oh. Go away. Go away. My apologies. One moment. Just press Control Z. Oh, there was one dice in there. No, yeah, because you know, the, la the last one you closed was actually the Twitch one. Ah. So. Well, yeah. minor technical difficulties. We uh, difficulties. We will be back mm. in one moment. Oh gosh. Well, I can still do my move. Uh, does is firebolt? Does, is that a disadvantage or not? Uh, you will have to see. Well, I cast firebolt. You cast firebolt, so you roll a hit. Okay, so it's nineteen. Nineteen. It seems like magic is unaffected. It goes through just fine. All right, I'll roll a one d eight now. It seems as if only regular projectile attacks can go uh, are at disadvantage. Four fire damage. For fire damage? Yep. All right. Okay. So, with four fire damage, you shoot the fire bolt up into the sky, and you notice you, you strike against the side of this griffin. It lets out a massive caw as it as it looks down directly at you. Seeing how seeing how you shot fire directly at it, you see it squints its eyes directly at you at the moment. Okay. All right. So, is that your turn? Oh, right. Yes, that'll be my turn. Okay. Next, red. Um. First off, could I try to shake myself out of that fear? Effect? You can. Uh, you have to make a save again. So. Yeah, I will. I will probably have to just to make sure if I can. Ah, an eleven. Like we're just trying to. Eleven. You just pass. <gasps> okay. He just like looks at the griffin and he is going to bane the griffin. He okay. Will bane. But I do believe bad he uses bird. your. I do a believe he uses bird. one of your actions to Not break a out of a, to break out of an effect. Oh. What does the effect say itself? That's what usually depends. On. Uh, oh. yeah, requires an action to, re to remove. Okay, then I don't have any multiple actions, so I guess that's basically it. Alright, so, now, it is going to be Bonetta. Alright. The gains. Can, the gains, yes. Can you move Bonetta, like, in between, like, right next to Red, please? Like, right over here? Yes. Alright, she's gonna catch... Catch, catch, <laughs> catch yes. these hands. Yeah. She's Punishment. gonna. Oh no! Punishment! For like five, seven, fifteen. Just remember, it's 30 feet up in the air. Alright, I'm just. I'm gonna use Thaumaturgy. 
Yes. And she's going to make a... She's going to cast it behind the griffin. Okay. And she's going to cast it uh, copying its screech. So it thinks another griffin is coming. A very aggressive, angry griffin. One moment. Let me do something right here. Nice. Oh, that. Rolled into the dice. Uh, it fails. So you see as it, it, it just turns around, it stops midair and looks around. <laughs> you know, it would have been cruel if I did it toward the dead body. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I get it, because oh it's out of range. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just it's say like, we have we have the knowledge. We just don't have the uh, means. Trust yeah. me, I, I I had a, another horrible idea. What? Oh, I do too. What? I bet his is the same as mine. What? Well, you see, as he stop, but it stops. Oh no! It stops oh, mid air now. And so, I, one of its turns is going to be trying to search for the noise, and then on its next turn will be an attack action. So, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. All right. So. Uh, right after Cassandra. So Cassie's gonna move a little forward. That way she's not trying to hit Ember or anything. Right. Um, she is going to go ahead and do the firebolt at first. Does she have like advantage because it's turned away right now? It will. You will have advantage. Yes. Okay. That's why I did it. Yes. My Shit. plan we'll is coming I'm together. Rat, will. No. 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 <laughs> right there. Shit. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. I said like 80 times. Hey! Damn! All right. We got Woo. 24. Woo! 24 the hit. Good hit. So yeah, as you are making, as you hit, so you're using firebolt, yes? Yes. All right, six fire damage. Not bad. Again, you shoot forward, you shoot forward this firebolt unaffected by the wind, and it goes straight through and hits it. Oh, it hits it on another side of it. It hits it directly onto the wing. Of this, of this thing. Not enough to burn a hole right through the wing, but it looks like it's now damaged on some area. It lets out another caw in anger. And being shot at by firebolts, it's going directly for you two. Oh boy. Oh lord. Let me roll. Yeah. No longer Let cares about the other griffin. It, it just moved. It can move as a reaction. <laughs> well, it's it, sir. Unless it was the end of, unless it was the end of uh, Cassandra's turn. So yeah, actually. Yeah, so no, it will stay right here until Holy the end of your turn. Oh boy. Uh, I forgot we only had like five people in combat. Oh, oh, six people. Yeah, we don't have our secret yeah. weapon anymore. Secret weapon? Gek. Oh, uh, right. Gecko. But is that the end of Gekko your turn? Gecko legit no? chunks Wait. the okay. last enemies. Wait. I know you weren't there for that, but it was amazing. All right. So right. Like I'm gonna choose. Games. I'm gonna do a. Gekko. I'm gonna roll a burst it out with a thirty. I, and uh, like, what the fuck? I'm going to roll a 1d4. Amazing. Uh, he is amazing. <laughs> roll the 1d4. Yes, uh, I just that uh, uh, Yeah. All right, I'm going to roll a 1d4 really quick. And it and between a 2 and 4 will be will be who I'm choosing. 2 will be you. The 3 and 4 will be that. And it got a 2. Don't know so it's me? going for No, it's going for Cassandra. Oh boy. Cassandra, no! Help so, me! Oh, no. It charges down with its with its claw with its talons outstretched, and it's gonna go for a grapple action. Oh, oh shit! Oh, where, where Does last? she have to contest? That is yes, you she can contest. That's yes. eighteen though. So you either you can either contest with a uh, acrobatics or, or an athletics. Yeah, um. whichever is higher. Preferably the higher one, unless you want to be a madman. Athletics. Athletics is plus one. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Seven. Oof. All right. So with its full action now, it's going to it's going to jump it's going to uh, drag you up into the sky now. No. Yeah. Oh, well you. with air. Wait, wait. Did did she roll? She did. Yeah, she got a seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. I need, okay. So you see, as it grapples you, and it uses the rest of its movement action to get back up into the air with you grappled no. in, its, in its in its talons. Oh. I don't do well with it. And so now you are thirty feet up in the air. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of the Griffin's turn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
All right, guys, I have a, I have an idea. Leaf is gonna use an evasive action because he has no idea. <laughs> what can he do? And I can't do anything. Oh. Is it time to have water? Leaf's turn, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't do anything. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> he's just Wait, standing you there. Become, you could, can't you grow? Yeah, but I'm only 11 feet tall. Oh, yeah. This thing's 30 feet in the air. It's yeah. 30, I don't have an 11. F- what was that? I would need like what a 20 foot vertical. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Can you? No, you, you're not a strength fighter though. Never mind. I have a. Yeah, I am not a strength fighter. Okay, I was gonna say if you had the athletics, you might be able to make it. Mm-hmm. Wait, you have advantage on strength checks though. Yes. If you're giant form, and that's a short distance to close. If you do a vertical jump, it's just I don't know the calculations for that. There's a calculator online, though. I know that. Yeah. All right. Well, I think you're doing the evasive action for this turn. Yeah. I I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. So it's gonna be Gideon's turn, and he actually just notices like, God damn it. Well, I don't know if I can take the shot. I unless I, are you alright if acc- if if this doesn't go through, it might accidentally hit them. Well, it's worth a shot. I prefer not. So that is a, and it's going to be a disadvantage. Completely ignores so, me. <laughs> 18. I'd like for her to get down safely. That is a, that is a four. That is I a four agree. to hit. So it doesn't hit you, but the arrow just completely misses the, the thing. God <sighs> damn it, I'm trying my best not to shoot her down. I really don't do well with it. Can someone get me down from here, um, please? We're trying down here. Set it on fire. Oh, don't say the F word. I mean, she's a fire. Set it on fire. <laughs> no, I, cause I not, feel like if, if Ember hears fire, it. she's just, she's gonna go freaking but grab it. he is gonna cast Bane on it. Wait, he, he's, he's, he's an attack to... action though. He's his attack. Oh, yeah, 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 so he can't, he can't. Oh, well, cause gosh. he had multi-attack, so. No, 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 but multi-attack only oh, works for oh, melee attacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you only yeah. cast one spell unless you're a sorcerer. All right, yeah. so yeah, he cannot. Yeah. Okay. Or a warcaster. Mm-hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, he, that is the end of his turn then. So, it's now Ember's turn. Ember looks visibly panicked. Like, she actually looks afraid for uh, Cassandra in the sky. And she's looking around, darting around, let me see. And by the way, this griffin looks like it's flying higher and higher. Oh, it's staying at 30 no. feet though right now. No. Guys, help me! Oh no. Okay, Ember's gonna look at Leaf. Leaf, nest! <laughs> and then she's gonna run 30 feet. Uh, could you move me 30 feet diagonally towards the nest? Um, 30 right there. Yes, please. Whee! <laughs> All right, and she's gonna control flames on the outskirts of the nest. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Let's well, so more concerned about the egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my omelet. <laughs> you, you set a fire. <laughs> like, no. You set a fire directly right next to the to the, the nest, and it begins to slightly burn on one end. Oh my! And God. but I will see. The, I will roll for the griffin to see if it realizes on its turn. Oh no! But is that the end of your turn on that? It's all I can do, but can I say it's a spectacular flame? Like, yeah. Clearly using the the, the outer edge of the dry bedding, kind of like making it an arc, maybe. All right. So, red. Your turn. You're um, seeing a flame now at the nest. Ryan is just like, he looks like Cassandra, and I think he's said probably. Bang. What? Or can you get her down? I was going to say, I was going to say he was going to transform to grab Cassandra and to, and if he could, if he could, he's going to smite the griffin. I will say, uh, mm-hmm. your movement speed of the flying is going to be half just due to the, the strong wind. Well, the griffin can't. Well, yeah, because the griffin's controlling it. I will say though, if you it, want, because the wing, the wings that is moving, it's so. These wings are massive, and it's blowing away but, your, your. It's blowing I, you away. Goldie, hypothetical question. Yes. Um, is seeing how well you land from falling a saving throw? Yes. I know what you can do, but I don't think Koi's gonna let me spell it out for you, so you gotta figure yes. it out on your own. Uh, 
Um, but I will say you are up in the air, but you're trying to get closer enough to get over to the to over to her. But the wind is just far too strong so, okay. against the so thing. so red hasn't said that they don't want to transform yet. I was you're just saying yes. that if it does happen, that it's they're not gonna be able to reach him. Yes, you are able to transform though, but you can it, you can try to get through, but it'd be a contest of strength, Jack, to get through the strong wind. I have advantage against griffins. Then you can try. And I will try. Okay, so you guys say you transform first. And basically, when Red sees Cassandra up there, basically his hair just glows blonde, armor becomes platinum. The same hands just basically cover his eyes, which have like the two blue eyes in the middle, the ears, and the mouth. And his eyes are glowing. And keep in mind, like he, and you see these beautiful. Golden, these beautiful like golden wings sprout out, and he's gonna soar to try to catch Cassandra. Okay. Cause he's gonna try to release Cassandra. All right. So do strength her. check. And I'm gonna use the advantage, considering that he does know a lot about Griffins. Technically, it would have been disadvantage, but now it's just a, it's just gonna be a regular roll. Due to the fact that it would have been disadvantage you going up, but with your advantage, it's now brought down just to a regular check. All right. Someone get me down here, please! I'm on it! So instead of having disadvantage, it's just normal now. Did uh, you advantage? May I use my huh? final lucky? Feel free. I am going to use Why? it to try to save Cassandra. Well, I don't know about she okay. can do it. Uh, please, God. Oh. I'm going to have to take the fucking 10. The 10? All right, He's let's see. Try. Strength check. Strength. That's an 11, fuck. So yeah, oh, you're point. able to get up, but you as soon as you get right next to her foot to grab it, the griffin moves it moves its wing <laughs> and you're blasted downward slightly. <laughs> so you were unfortunately not able to make it because oh, it beat you by one. God damn it. He's There's like Rahelios, damn it. So, Bonetta, your turn. Alright. How far how high is it? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Only I can you can grow. I mean, I. All right. There's... Seeing that Cassandra is now in the claws of this thing, and Red just trying to catch her. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> the Griffin's having fun with her. <laughs> it's shaking you around and dragged all of you. Red is trying to catch Cassandra. Okay. All right. Let's, keep it, let's try to keep it to one person okay. at a time now. Red is in the air, correct? Yes. Okay. If I were to try and somehow get the griffin to let go, would she be able to catch he? Cassandra? Yeah. It would be at a reaction. Yeah. But it is possible. It is possible? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So she's, uh, Bonetta is going to use, um, hmm. Bonetta is going to use sacred flame. Okay. And aim, aim right for like in between the eyes, make it flinch. Okay. Yeah, because you're aiming for a certain part. Uh-huh. That will be a disadvantage. Nope. Uh, you have to make a saving throw. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. So Thank what would you. that be? Um, That's if uh, it'll be based off your wisdom plus proficiency plus a. So that is fourteen. Yeah. Wait. Let me check. That no, is a. That is a eighteen. Oh. Well, it's unaffected. Damn it. <laughs> Could I at least like check the? Uh, I guess a deck saving still? throw against a flying creature is a bad idea. Let me just yeah. at least check. Yeah. Because I know that Sacred Flame, you have to have no. a dex, a 15 dex save, and the griffin already passed. No, no, it's 14, it's because 14. it's 4 plus yeah. 2 plus 8. Yeah. yeah. No, so, it's, for you, it's 15, because okay, you have Okay, well, it's already uh, passed now. It's already right. passed now. Oh, okay, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. But, yes, it, it passes. You see, as you shoot, as the flame goes forward, it fizzles out from the wind. Damn it. I guess I'll have to use something stronger next turn. Um, no, Cassandra, your turn. Ah. Cassandra, oh, if you can get her. You are grappled, but you are still able to attack. Come on. Ah. Set on fire. Ah. You have me. Wait. Get ready to catch her. Yeah. This one? No. Mm. Yes? You, you figure it I, well, I, I know what I would I'm want. I'm not to saying do. anything. This no, I know. Guys. I'm just. Uh, la, la, la. Um, okay. I'm going to use Produce Flame. Okay. 
I don't know if that can uh, damage though. It doesn't damage by itself. It depends on context. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, where are you producing the? Because I would say if you're grappled, you are the flame. I am the flame. I'm just saying. Rising. In this case, because it's a self thing. You're. I use the fire. It's holding a fire. And I'm, I'm literally like trying. <laughs> that, that's to just, my logic. I'm trying to just light it on fire in general. Okay. So you set yourself on fire and producing mighty flame. Your hair begins to glow. Your hair sets on fire and is now like a torrent of flame. Your hair. And you know, and as this happens, you're seeing as you're seeing as the Griffin is now feeling the heat of your hair uh, on the uh, from its feet as well as on the bottom of its stomach area. And also, it does. Will that say the end of your turn? Will I say that? I think so. Yeah. And, uh, and you see, as from that, also noticing its nest now on fire. And so, what it's going to do? It's going to drop you. Um, could I catch her? You can make it. You can make a check. Uh, what is it? Do that I know? Do I know check. that it's a dexterity check? Well, yes. Can I, there's. Can I prepare the Someone be ready to ground? catch me. Um, I was going to! It won't be at advantage though, unfortunately. At It'll what? Be disadvantage? God. It'll be at normal. It'll uh, be at normal. Okay, 16. I, 16, that should work. 16? Well, we don't know. He has to say it. 16 should work mm -hmm. on catching her, right? Okay, one moment. I'm trying to think right here. Hmm. Please catch me! I'm actually like, I need like you to also make a check too. Oh my Whoa. god! You're, Cause you're flailing around. Wait, Wait, what check am I doing? Yeah, well, what should you make in that? It'd be athletics. Athletics. Wait, wow. oh my gosh, athletics! No, 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 she has to, not you. Oh, okay. You can do, do it. it. You, you can do it. With the combined checks, cause you got over a 10, he catches you. Like, <laughs> look at this. And I'm just going. I'm on the ground. No, you're still in the air. I'm gonna try to fly down. And when it's well, when it's, it's moving speed, it goes over. It goes over, flies right over to the nest and sees you standing near it with its, <laughs> with a flame, and it crashes down and looks you at you, and it and in rage. It's going to attack you. you so I just I just want to clarify. You didn't Amber Amber sees Cassandra drop into Red's arms, and she. Like reads the noticeable sign of relief, and it sees the perfect glowing as it crashes bigger, down with and it's just like, smoke, <laughs> glowing towards you, and it, and you just see as this its feathers are all puffed out, enraged. It's going in for a beak attack. So that is well, it's going to use its le its one legendary action. It's going to choose succeed. Reroll. Choose to succeed. Uh, what, what's the AC on it, or what's the attack on it? Um. Actually, no, no, no. He was going to do a re-roll. But the roll before was actually higher. So that is a 10 to hit. Does not hit. All right. Too so, nimble. Yeah. Too fast. So it's on the ground now? It's on the ground. Is it my turn? Wait, whose turn is it? It is its turn because it used its react. It used one of its actions to drop, and then it moved, and then it used its other action. So it is going to be your turn now after. Believe finally seen this place. Down on the ground! Dude! 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 All right, so where, where, where's our copyright Pokemon music for da, this? Da, 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 da. I am not big. <laughs> you are Gigaly. I am Gigantily. <laughs> Gigantily. So now I'm gonna attack both times. Right. Yes. <laughs> Eighteen. So that one's plus twenty or over twenty. That one is a nine plus. Let me pull up my thing. Yes. Granted, I don't know how much that is. is. Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Well, yes. And I will say, keep in mind, everything gets picked up audio-wise. So, a pack room conversations can over overthrow people. Lastly. Lastly. Yes. Action search. 
All right. Is that cut? Um. Probably not. No, it looks okay. fine on my end. That would that would that would be a ten. Plus that your not strength. Hit. That's probably with strength. Oh yeah, that is with strength. I rolled a three. All right, then fire room. So that's gonna make a con save. Okay. And so far, in terms of damage, you got two. Uh, that is a six on a ten. Wait, it got a six? Yeah. It might be at Okay, okay, yes! okay, wait, wait, wait. So oh, first, let me, let me roll the damages. So first, <laughs> Uh, I need you to go up to the stage. Uh, I'm gonna really need hard. to write all this down. It's fun, is just bad. <laughs> this, this thing needs to be held down right now. You can go for wherever you want. Yeah. Here, I, I'm doing a lot of math right now. So. Oh my god. By the way, even the whispering's getting picked up. That's funny. Oh my god, please. Just activate. Alright, so. It, sorry, I, I meant to say strength. It was a strength save. All right. So what was that? What was it save then? It save nine. It would be a nine. Okay. Yeah. It still fails. So that means it is restrained for a minute. You're keep right. In, keep in mind, I am adding all the things I have to add because there's like yeah. another. Are you okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just like. Uh, and to use its legendary action, so it can't choose like its succeed. On the stream. Yeah. And because I did two hits, ah, each of them adds also it's another two d six. So um, that's my math. I think your friend is fine. 2d8 plus 10 plus 2d6 plus 2d6. Oh boy. Imagine if I got that third hidden. Alright, so let's roll the 2d8. 2d8. I'm not going to have to talk about this, boy. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to have to talk about Runeite, boy. Uh, No, no, no. no. Runeite is fine the way it is. Uh, uh, honestly, what? So 18 so far. Most monsters have a high con anyways. Like, yeah. Eight. This thing does not have a big con. Oh. I said it's most strength. monsters. It, it was supposed to be a strength save. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, strength save. So yes. That's better. Well, no, no, no. What's the same roll? Just add the strength yeah. modifier. 12. Yeah, it still fails. So now, that's the 18 yeah. plus 7. Someone get a calculator. Uh, uh, what is it so far? 20 plus 7? 18 plus 7. 18 okay, plus so 7, that is 25. 25. Plus 4. That is 25 plus um, huh, 4, that's Jesus. 29. Fire that is one good damage. So wait, how much total? 29, 29 fire Tw- damage. No, uh, 20, uh, only uh, 2d6 of that was fire damage. Oh, okay. okay. So it's like but 20. the rest is all regular sword lethal damage. All right. So 29 damage total. All right, so 29 damage total. Okay, good hit. Finally! And keep in mind, this is with an action surge, and... And I failed the action surge. Yeah, so... All right. So, yeah. That is going to be your turn, if if that's right. Yes, and it's restrained. Okay. So it has to take its action to see if it breaks down. on the start of each turn, it takes 1d6 damage. Okay. (laughs) I'm still new to legendary actions. I don't know if they get them back after each Uh, turn. It's... No. Okay. If we rule it right, um, it uses its legendary action, not its legendary reaction. No, no, um, it's 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 just at legendary action. But depending on how you want to play it, the normal is a uh, boss gets three legendary actions per fight. This is a lesser boss, so it's only gonna have one. I'm okay, so boss. per twenty four hours, then it has that. Okay. You like? <laughs> no. Cause All right. Like so Gideon, seeing that's on the ground, it goes. All right, it's down. I target it. So, actually, while it is on the ground, it is actually, around its neck is a chain pulling it down. Just fires coming from a, from underneath, pulling it down with And you're noticing, it's and not- shackles. And by the way, you're noticing this thing is not targeting any of you. Now it's, you just see it going towards the nest, but it's restrained. So you're saying is this thing is clawing at the ground, trying to reach the nest that it's currently still burning on fire. I forgot. Bro, this is... It's what, actually too... Let's cry. Letting out this very shrill cry. This Bro, very sad cry. Red is just feeling bad about this whole entire thing. Like, he understands why it has to be done. Because... But on the other hand, dude... Like, it's like kind of like... Confu- like, it's just like kind of like a mixture between... Okay, like, yeah, so... Attack rolls against the creature have advantage 
And the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage while it's restrained. All right. Well, and it has disadvantage on any saving throws. Well, Gideon is going to take two attacks. He's like, he goes, he goes up to you really quickly, and he goes, he puts a hand on your shoulder. Good job, son. And he goes in for the hit. It finally worked! <laughs> <laughs> that is an 11 Thanks to hit. To Unfortunately, that misses. Wouldn't so it be with his... advantage? Yeah, it's with advantage. Oh, so yeah. Uh, get, 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 put it, that's put a 15. Back it. That's a 15, so he actually does hit. Finally. So his first attack will hit, and his second one, he's going in for another attack. Oh, yeah. Ball, he's already rolling with this one. That's another 15. Exact same roll. My blue, my blue. So both of them will hit. So he's gonna be you. So he is using a long sword. So it's a one d eight. That is a uh, that's nine points of damage on the first hit. Good hit from Gideon, and and oh god, that's eight. That's that's uh, eleven points of slashing damage on the second hit. Eleven plus nine. Twenty. Twenty. Oh shit! Good hit on him. This thing is looking fairly low. It, it is looking hurt, but right now it's slashing as the slashes are going into it. It is not focusing on any of you guys, even though it's getting hit. It's focusing on the its nest. You're noticing its eyes are pierced towards that egg. Oh no! Oh no! Leaf's no. chains aren't. Leaf is more excited that his chains actually fucking worked. <laughs> and strange. with that, that is Gideon's turn, and and he just uh. And with that, it is now Ember's turn. Uh, did we skip the turn? I think we. No, we didn't. Because it, cause it goes from it goes from Leaf getting. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I it, there's so much happened in the last turn. I thought like, wow, that's a whole <laughs> round. So, Ember notices the creature's desperate look, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, I was distracted. Um, air <laughs> pressure. She is going to. Okay, I actually need to know. How, where is this, how is this? Uh, it's behind you. Or in front of you, depending on. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you want, you could sit next to Anna right there. No, 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 it's I fine, mean, this is fine. Erebus. This is, this is Erebus. fine. Oh. All right. So I was gonna- person, learning. Okay. I was gonna say, uh, Ember is act. I, I see where the egg is. Yes. Ember is actually going to walk towards the egg. Again, more shrill cries. Where you? And uh, so I guess we're, would the egg be in the center of the nest, or? Uh, yes. It is near. It is near the lifeless body, near the tail end, as you said, near the tail end of the of the other griffin. So uh, where do you want, like, right? You can't see it because it's it's currently in that cave area, but it's around there. So how much distance would you say I have to move to reach it? So here's a little marking right here on the map of where the egg would be. Um, you might want to scroll up. Yes. Oh. So scroll up. Oh wow, that's actually really far away. Um, wow. so that's five. Ten. Wait, can't you just put out the fire? So I guess I'll use my 25 movement speed to reach over there, because I think that's about right. Uh, is picking up the egg going to be an action, or...? Uh, it would, on, it would be... It is a very big egg. Imagine like a monster egg. So, yeah, it would be a, not really much of a strength check. You don't really no, 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 I mean like, it. will it use an action or not? Yes. It will use an action. Because it is a big egg. It probably weighs maybe 70 pounds. Jesus Christ! Lord, that's a big boy. Oh, Lord! Yeah, it's a huge egg. If we keep it, we're gonna name it Chungus. <laughs> oh my! We're gonna make okay, so how close are the fires? Oh. The fires are, no. are spreading throughout the straw nest. It's getting a little closer to the egg, but not uh, not as far. As, uh, it's probably maybe twenty feet away from the egg. This is a massive nest. Okay, so Amber's gonna go right next to the egg. And uh, she will hold a ready action. Okay. But you have to tell me about how the fires progress throughout the round. Okay. All right. So that is the end of your turn then. So, Red, your turn. Um, so first I, well, first, like, I assume that I just, like, look down back to the island we're on. 
Yes. So that's, uh, how far was he up in the air? You were about, maybe, because it pushed you down about 10 feet, so you're about 20 feet up in the air. Okay, so after I just, like, descend... So that's 20, that's 20 of your movement speed. You are moving. Yes, yeah. it is a movement action to get down. But at least Cassandra is on the ground. Yeah. On the ground again! <laughs> Sweet. Sweet land. Sweet land. After that, Red sees what's going on with the griffin. And he understands. Like, keep in mind, like, he understands that he has to do it. He doesn't want to, but he's going to have to... He is going to have to move to... In his transformed state, he is going to smite... That griffin. Okay, but you, uh, um, to you smite, have you have to be in melee yeah. distance. You yeah, I'll have to move first. So, but you only can move 10 feet, though, unfortunately. Fine. Um, can I at least um, bane it? You, you can bane it. Okay. But yeah. yeah, it is it because you are good moving down 20 feet and then moving 10 feet out. Yeah. So it is a movement action. So you have to make a saving throw against what uh, saving throw? Let me check. Let me check. Wasn't here. it charisma? Let me see. Let's double check. Oh, what? Um. Yes, technically, like it would be like a charisma saving throw at fifteen. So it has to be to fifteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, that, it fails. That is a five. So now it's to roll d four every time it makes a saving throw, attack, or build a check. Red. And it has okay. disadvantage. Red is just already. Like you can tell that red's just like. Like, basically, like, you could tell, like, he's standing there, he's looking very solemn. Like, basically, you could tell in his eyes that he does not want to do it, but you know what? For six of the great good, he closes his eyes and he just... He snaps his fingers and the griffin is banged. Alright. Even though the shrieks are... The shrieks of a panicked mother griffin... Yeah. ...is making him feel very uncomfortable. So, with that, Benetta your turn. Okay, Bonetta would have sprinted toward the nest, but seeing Ember that she's right next to the egg, she decides, oh, okay. The egg is fine. Um, so instead, she looks toward Leaf, and can she tell by his body language if he's, like, in hmm. slightly good shape or not? I would say right now, Leaf is going through a lot of adrenaline, so he wouldn't be showing any signs of, um, damage. Okay. He could be, but he's in the zone, so to say. All right. Well, just in case, can uh, how 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 far are they? Well, I'm giant as fuck, so like. Bruh. I'm twenty. I'm twenty feet away from you. Okay, so I will move up to him. We. Oui. And then I'm just gonna tap. I'm gonna slap his Achilles heel, and okay. use. Well, it'd probably be like the back of my knee. I'm only eleven feet tall. Oh, the back of his knee <laughs> using cure uh, cure wounds. All right, so, okay. Yeah. How much was that? Um, 10. Mm. Nice. Let's see what I need to do here. All right, so, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. Okay, so, Cassandra, your turn. Okay, so seeing as how she's, like, still frightened from being up in the sky. Yes. She kind of stays a little back, but wants to move forward to, like, just ever so slightly to try to shoot Firebolt at the griffin, okay. just to, like, get it, um, let's see. A, a pew. All right. <laughs> um, and it has advantage. Okay. Yep, because it's in chains. How many can I move, like, how, is it just ten, or is it, like... You can move a space is five. Um, that's the thing, I don't want to be in any like, really? Okay. You could 20? just like move you can like move right one, next to two, three. You could just move like right. Yeah. Yeah, right, right there, and then boom. Okay. And because she is still like still very 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 frightened because she hates heights. All right. Sure. What? Advantage. Oh. Yeah, it's advantage at the moment. Did it go? No, I didn't. It didn't even go. It hates me. <gasps> is that an attack? The, the first crit! Fuck! No, which crit Lord. is big? 
<laughs> you win. That's right, you did, you did. But for attack, that's much better. So that's like that's twelve <laughs> points of damage yeah. for that fire damage. She, she'd be like eleven points. She'd be like, I'm done with this crap. Um, yeah. <laughs> you just see as you shoot your firebolt out. You see it at you see as Blossom also blows a little bit of fire into oh. it as well, making it stronger. As it shoots forward and hitting the griffin on on the side, more it's still just going towards the egg. And is that your turn? Yeah. So, more. Let me know when the fire has grown dangerously close to the egg. It is growing so pretty much dangerously close. And you're actually noticing... So, so actually, I'm going to use my ready action now. Yeah. I'm going to use my ready action of control flames to keep the flames away from that distance. Like, they're still ongoing, but it's clear I'm forming the line. Okay. I'm stopping their advance. All right. So, uh, with Wait. that... Uh, is it its turn now? Yes. It takes 2d6 damage. And 1d6. You said 1d6. 2d6. I read the... It's right here. Oh, 2d6. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I, I realized that afterwards. All right. And secondly, it has to do its... If it wants to get out, it has to do it at the end of its turn. All right. So... That is also 8 fire damage. 8 fire damage? Okay. It is looking terribly low. Now, with its... With its... Uh, with one of its actions... It's going, everybody in a 20 foot radius from it needs to make me a wisdom saving throw. Ah, oh, jeez. I guess. Is that me, too? Yes. Um, everyone in 20 distance, do I, uh... Anybody within 20 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20. Dang it, I'm right there. Yeah, I'm like, like, as there. you see, yeah, that's fine. as you see this thing, uh, in sheer, like, sadness and anger, it cries so loudly that your ears begin to ring. But Hang what was on. this? 16. 16? You're fine? Hang on, saving throw. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom? Huh? With advantage 14. or with 14? Yeah. You don't make it. Damn it. Do I have okay. 19 I question? Huh? I'm sorry. I was gonna ask just a question, and I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. You say that he has just attack rolls advantages against griffins, like nothing else? Uh, it's only a, it's only against normal griffins. This doesn't seem like a normal griffin when it comes to that. Okay. It's only against tamed griffins. Uh, not wild. Wait, that makes no sense. Well, you've dealt with tamed ones. Maybe you should discuss this with him. Yeah, probably. I got some Nice. <laughs> um, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Okay, I'm being a little idiot. Okay. Okay, um... Let's see how I do! Oh, wow. And plus, it's only attack actions. It okay, 15! I think... You just make it. Okay, uh, I used an inspiration. Sorry, right. roll when, my... When did you get an inspiration? Last game. We, the, it, you it, it gave was, us all an inspiration. Did I? Yes. Yeah, it, I, it was we, after we haven't, you, we haven't used it. Oh. So I almost I used gave it, to, it to one. No, you gave it to everyone. Oh, okay. Well, if I did, then oh, yeah. you can use it then. Okay, so I turned a 4 to a 16. Okay, you make it. So all of you, let me roll for Gideon. He fails. So both you and Gideon fell. So each of you take 11 points of, of psychic damage. Dear As your Lord. ears begin to ring, you're starting to bleed from your ears. Oh, God. <laughs> My ears. Out. And for the next and for the next hour, you are deaf. What do you say? Ah! So any any uh, any uh, anything like any like, if you were to try to uh, if somebody was trying to give you advantage on something, it'd be you can't because you can't hear them. Oh uh, no! What if you use your actions to help them? Maybe. It that, might, it as long as it's case not case. verbal, case, case by case. case. Yes. But. With its second one, it's cool. going to it's going to try to break the chains. It has to at the end of its turn. Ah. Remember? Okay, so it's restrained. It just continues to claw at the ground then. Also remember it's Bane too. Yeah. It continues is, just to crawl the claw at the, the ground. Is, is Bane, so she yeah, I understand. I, I understand. It, it it doesn't do I anything know. else, as it just keeps clawing at the ground. It's going to try biting at the chains. But is that it does end of its turn now. Then yeah, it it, it just ends its turn there. So okay. now it can now it can break the chains. It can get attacked. Bang with a one d four minus one d four. I don't know how much of what one much of that can remove. Well, okay, there, so. if it's if it's lower than a thirteen. That's a seven. Yeah, no, it's stuck still. 
seven. It's stuck. Subtract. All right. Do... No, it doesn't. It, 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 the bang wouldn't matter because okay. it, it's a thirteen. All right. Understandable. Mathematically speaking, the bang. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, whose turn is it now? Well, it is back. It is going to be leaf. It's my dice. I'm missing one. It probably fell between the cloud two cushions. What? No! Oh boy. That's the danger. No, yeah, I didn't move it. That's the problem. Shit. Man. Okay. I'll leave it up another one because I'm going to attack it twice. Okay. And because it's, whatchamacallit? Restrained. Restrained, I get advantage on both sides. Okay. You see a green snot freaking dice. Alright, so this is the first attack. Five plus seven is twelve. Yeah, that's twelve. That fails. That fails. Alright. Thank you, Kaylee. Oh, and I'm still giant, so. It's K. Mm. Thank you. Over twenty. Over twenty? Yeah. Alright. And please uh, talk near the mic when you're saying these, because it cannot pick you up. Yeah. I said it could pick everything. Well, yeah, up. but it's like, because he's talking low away from the mic, so it's like. <laughs> Alright, so that was over 20, so, and you said that hits? Yes. So that's a 1. Yeah, plus a d6, plus 5, plus d8. 2, 8, 10, plus 5, 15 damage total. 15 damage total? Yes. Alright. So. That went over its HP, but I want you to allow me to uh, do this yeah, really problem. quick. So, at the very end of this, you see as uh, you see from the damage it's taken, it you notice as you see as uh, it falls to the ground and you think it's dead, maybe for two minutes. The ch you break the chains, and you see this thing just just get up, mm. but you see as it, it just slowly crawls its way, dragging itself along, and it goes over it goes over to the nest. Not even focusing on any of you guys. Just looking directly at that egg. Ember is still right next to it, and I will say if it's two minutes past, then she would have put the flames out. Yeah. It it notices this. It doesn't even care. It walks through the flames. <gasps> well like I said, the flames are out. Well yeah, but because she thinks it's dead. Yeah. So you see as it, it doesn't even notice you, and it just goes closer and closer to the egg. What do you do? She's actually going to take a few steps back. Okay. You see as this griffin just limps along, going over to the egg, and you see as it, as it goes right next to the egg, curls around it, and you see it just takes its final breath <gasps> around the egg. I just imagine, like, is everyone, like, seeing this? Yeah. But as this goes on, you notice something as as the griffin dies, the egg begins to shake. Or it's just looking and it cracks open. Oh jeez. And out comes out this little griffin. <gasps> oh no, it's too good. With and you see it as you see it start giving a little <gasps> Red Red's and like it sees my and it looks over at the it looks over at the mother griffin and it go, and it just starts nuzzling it. Oh Could I try to tame him? Well you can do animal handling. I will try to calm down the baby. How, how would it not be terrified with it? Oh well you said two minutes have passed leaf that's yeah. shrunk down. Yeah, I am gonna use animal also, handling. It's to... just been born, so I I, I don't think the eyesight would be the best. Yeah. Well still yeah. I wanna still calm the baby down. Well it's What's well, food? It, 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 is no, it, no. Is it, is it like? I still. It, it's calm right now, isn't it? It's yeah, just kind of, it's yeah. very calm right now. Right, it's just. So like... it looks over, and and as as soon as it sees like uh, as soon as it sees you, walking towards it. No, he's first... just gentle. He's well, just... yeah, no, but what I mean is, as soon as it sees you walking towards it, it looks up, and it runs close to you as if. Uh, as it because the first thing that a baby will see, they'll imprint. So you see, as it just runs over to you, and just and just tries to hide behind you, as it's looking around at oh, everyone else. Oh, oh. <laughs> its feathers, its tiny feathers, is puffed up like a giant little puffball. And 
Where's the scene? Is he still like, kind of like... It doesn't even let you pet it. It's just it's okay. hiding behind you. Uh, and as soon as you try petting it, uh, it bites your finger. Could I, could I still use animal handling to make yeah. sure that... It is it is around you, but it take, you take one point of bite damage. <laughs> you gotta chuckle. Red is down. No, <laughs> he's, <laughs> no, he's just chuckling a bit. Red is killed. <laughs> just that family guy go... <laughs> <laughs> he's just, um... I want to see... I received, um, it's a 21. Okay. Red's just Let me roll for gently. It. You beat it, so yeah. Red's just gonna pick him up and pet him like, hey, I love it. You hand me the dice and phone next to You're gonna be fine, okay? It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine, okay? Well, it's in that fucking Griffin's dead already. <laughs> Red just like how glares and getting in, just like killed my man. Understandable, but I'm just happy my chain actually works. Could I just imagine like Red just like covering like the baby Griffin's ears as Gideon says that, like just covering the baby's ears? You're covering a damn fucking baby Griffin's ears. They can't even understand what we're saying. They could still feel. And they can still understand. Not not the similar way like us, but they're kinda like cats. They'll even and trust me, even cats understand. Well you're taking care of it. <sighs> yes. That means we have another pet. <laughs> we have so many birds. Red is we just... have we have yeah. so many so many things to take care of. Red is just <laughs> We have a boat, a kobold, <laughs> a, a no okay. You hear it in the distance. I think someone just called me a pet. <laughs> oh, we have to take care of a pseudo dragon. He's not. Our, I can a take pet. care of myself. Thank you very much. But yeah, but it's fun still, feeding. Still, but still. I like my little nipples. Um, yes. I'm only a pet if I consider you my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, Cassandra, you never told us your dragon was kinky. Ah, well, jeez. Okay, well, sure. at, least the, at least the damn thing's dead, and, and well. Should we just, should look, we just investigate, just in case that there's anything there's, lost? Um, oh yes, you actually know, uh, all the items that you lost are all in a nest My that stuff. were taken. You find all your items. You're also finding other shiny things. You're noticing things that are near the uh, the body of the other griffin. And you're actually noticing that both griffins are now like laying side by side, oh. both of them dead right there. Oh. Covered in flames. One of them is larger than the other because the females are usually larger than the other one, mm. and much more it's... pronounced. So you're just noticing as it's laying around all the broken eggs, its mate dead next to it, and you're just seeing that uh, you're finding a lot of things. Now. You can loot the griffin if you like. Uh, Red is not. Uh, yes I will. Cassie's gonna go straight for her things. Red, Red is Fresh not. Fresh meat! Like, <laughs> those who want to, you can roll survival check. Yes. Red is Please. just... Um, I will say, Ember's not gonna loot the griffin, but she's gonna try to distract herself and look around on the nest for these... Things are clearly not griffin like. I will do Advantage the same. or no? I wanna look in the nest. No. Wait, what are you okay. what are you what are you doing? Well, survival check. For For her stuff? Or all well no, you find all your stuff. Oh what well, The survival check is if you wanna get anything off the griffin. Um well, red, yeah. well maybe, right. I don't know. Well I I want meat. <laughs> Can we raid the nest since there's items in the, the yeah. Yeah, that's what all right, let's see. So are we still doing survival if we're gonna raid the nest? Um, yeah. Okay. Goldie, yes. I was gonna say like, I just imagine like he just investigates 19. the nest in case if there's anything kind of useful, okay. so. I rolled a 19. I will 19. also oh. use survival. I will also what's use in that, What's in that glorious survival. fucking game? 19? Yeah. You, find, you, find a, you find a couple of gems. You find a very, you find a sapphire. A couple of, like two rubies inside the griffin. Not inside the griffin. <laughs> oh oh yeah. wait, no, you're looting the yeah, griffin. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm looting the griffin. You uh, fi you find seventeen arrows that were stuck into its side. Goldie. And a couple. Oh, you get also no. get no one moment. I know. I'm uh, you also get you also get almost all of its claws. So you get 
you get seven claws, as three of them were destroyed. And you also get a pound of feathers. Seven claws, one pound either. Yes, and you also get two griffin eyes, but that's pretty much it. Um, Goldie, yes. I rolled a 24 for survival. For survival? Yeah. Uh, from exploring the nest, there isn't any other things that are that are alive there. But is there but like anything that we could... Uh, for loot-wise? Yeah. You do find... A couple of unknowns. You find two unknown spell scrolls. Two unknown spell scrolls. They don't look like they were part of your collection. You find two spell scrolls. All right. Guys, how do you think griffin eyes taste like? Uh, red, red is green. like. I don't want to. Wait, she can't hear. <laughs> red <laughs> is <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Yeah, you're, you're still deaf for an hour. Red is just like. Just is it bad that I'm going to be able to do Ever kind of look like you know her. And she's going to kind of just like. Because you're tall, right? Yeah. So Banette's character's tall, so Ember's going to try to like reach up like. <laughs> <laughs> both hands outstretched trying to go for her ears. She's like. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> Motioning down, get, bring it down! Hey. Oh, oh, and then she just goes down like that. <laughs> Lay on hands. It says it can cure an ailment, I believe. Yes. Yes. Um. So, so I use my lay on hands to You cure. feel as, you feel what, at first you just feel, and then it go, and everything comes back. Oh! All oh. you heard was static for like 30 minutes. Yes, thank you. I can hear it now, thank you. <laughs> See, I can, t I, I told you I can heal, pointing at Gideon. I never said you couldn't hear. Is it getting deaf too? What? <laughs> oh, um, could I? Oh, apply, I, I don't think I have enough for him. Um, could I apply um lay on hands on Gideon, so he could gain his um. What, what the hell? Uh, oh, oh. He's all blushing. Oh, red so 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 Oh, uh, you actually notice his his, his dark. He he has a um, much. He, he's a darker complexion. Let me just um see. So you can't really see much on the face, but there is a light blush. Um. Uh, can you please don't touch my face, please? <laughs> That's like you were deaf, so... Oh. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> but would have been more funnier if you tried to go in for the kiss and then... Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to use the um, healing hands for like his ears. To okay, his yeah. Ears. So, and it gets healed up. And you notice he's like... Here you go. Thank goodness that's over. Yeah. And as promised, when we get back, I will hand you the 500 gold. Before we head back. Yeah. I got a 20 to raid that nest. You uh, you found those two spell scrolls, a sapphire and two rubies. Jesus. We just and 50 gold. Wait, wait, didn't didn't uh, Red found those two spell scrolls? Yeah. Yes. yes. You get the spell scrolls, so you get the ruby and two sapphires, as well as 50 gold. Is Are the two spell scrolls the only thing that I find? Yes. That? Okay. Red is still just like tending to like the little griffin chub. I rolled an eleven. <laughs> you find, you find feathers and such, <laughs> and whatever's left over on the griffin. What you, I found a pound of feathers. <laughs> Let's go. Are you gonna try going for the meat of it? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm not touching the griffin. I'm looking every, oh. everywhere. But oh hell it. yeah! <laughs> well, then you get two pounds of. Uh, you get four pounds of griffin meat. <laughs> But we you find that. feathers and a couple. Of, you find shed feathers and a lot of straw. Yeah, this is not help Ember's mood at all. She is looking noticeably. We good tonight, guys. I got four pounds of meat. You know, Red, you know Red is just still like paying attention to, Banana like kind of playing with like a little chub. She notices this. her first time. Oh, she notices this, huh? <laughs> Banana notices her looking dour. <laughs> Well, that's just playing with like the little but, baby griffin. Yeah, and I will say, um, with all everything searched, everything there, okay. you begin making your way down the mountain. No, you don't need to roll anything. All you right. make your way down just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Before they leave, the uh, banana's just gonna give one quick prayer to the down griffins, because obviously, yeah, that would be a good. There's smoke idea. around due to the fire. Down. There's lots of different the bodies there from what the griffins killed mm -hmm. and other things there. Leave a light prayer. May yeah. I pray, yes. pray to Rahelios as well? Yes. 
the little chub in your hand. A little chub. Chub, yeah. yeah. Someone else got a little chub that day too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up. It's Leaf. He had a chub from that major meat he got from that Griffin. He had never seen so much meat in his life. Yeah. <laughs> but you all make your way down. over. You may all make your way over to uh, ma- way down, down the mountain. You go. You make your way back to the town. And again, you do get your gold and stuff, and you hear as the, as Gideon goes. Well then, again, a promise is a promise, and you can make your way through the town. And each of you can split among five hundred gold as he puts a sack of gold in front of you. There's five of us. Yes. Yeah. So I've already said my my goodbyes. Five. Oh, farewell. Your goodbyes. Well. To my men that died right there. Oh, that's understandable. Everyone gets a hundred. We weren't, we weren't yeah. able to bring him back down with us. No, we were. Okay, so yeah. Oh, okay. We've. Uh, 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 I will say he already buried them. This is about maybe three hours after. Well, if you like, you can stay for a little while. I heard about. I heard the guards are saying that hey, that you were waiting on a boat, a skyship to arrive. Yeah. You might need it to get head up to head towards to head towards Mountain Point. It is further up. Mountain Point. Yeah. We were. The road. Uh, if you mm-hmm. saw how the roads hey, were eroded. Mountain Point. Okay. Let's the roads sure. were eroded. Yes. So you will need to go by Skyship. Well, well. That's why I was asking about that one place earlier. But it's all right. It is along the way. Perfect. You will. The the reasons why is that road also leads to the other location you were going for. But unfortunately, well, it, the road is all eroded. We'll have to build a bridge over it eventually. But that oh. probably won't be done until a month from now. So they Which said- might have a way around that. They said the ship should be, they, you said that, that my gods have told me that, that you all said that your ship should arrive in about two days. You can stay at the town if you wish, hmm. before you make your way forward. It'd be nice to get some more information, I would assume. On the skyship, it should take about a day's trip over to your next location. Warnguard? Yes, you have to go. You have to go a little bit around just so you can avoid the wind. No, this is Warnguard. This is Warnguard. <laughs> We're not in a ju- okay. <laughs> a what? No, I thought Warnguard was like a bigger town. No. By the way, I will say. As you're all let into the town, but I will say that you're noticing that you're noticing this was just the barracks. This was just the barracks, right? So after your conversation, you see Well again. Welcome to Oh God. As you can scroll out. Oh, uh, oh that's beautiful. Okay. Oh, hey. As you're seeing this massive town. Whoa. Hundreds of buildings around, with a massive mountain, with with lots of different things around. The near the near the south, because you had to go around this whole this whole town, that was surrounded by a massive wall, and you had to go around that wall to actually reach the location of the Griffin. But now you're able to see through. There's just massive buildings. There's farmlands around this whole area, it, and you're noticing a lot of. Uh, you're noticing as the guard captain gives the order that people can actually start moving around. You're noticing races of all different races walking around. Wow. Even traders. Like, you're seeing, like, carts going throughout the town and such. And, well, at this point, as you as the gates open, you take your first steps in the Orm Guard. That is what will lead the session there. Oh, that's pretty good. Whoa. Whoa. I just imagine, like, the little griffin chub is now on Red's shoulder. Well... Yeah. Now you gotta buy food, Goldie. Yeah. Like cheeky. No man. level up yet. Ah. Feet. No. Feet. Flavor feet. No. Flavor feet. I know what you want to get, and not yet. Um. Toes. Okay, Goldie. No, 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 no. Oh my god. That, that one. The ironic one is for later. The ironic. I want to. I want to be in no feet, but you do get. You do get an extra inspiration. Oh, that's nice. Does that work on? 
You only get one inspiration. That's how it works. God damn it! Unless you have. No, I'm, I'm joking with that. You don't do that. But you do get a lot of gold out of it, though. Okay, that's oh, yeah. good. And you also get a freaking griffin. Yay! A baby griffin. Woo! A baby yeah. Boy. A so baby that is your reward. You got a griffin out of it. Red tappy. I can Great, you can sell it for more gold. <laughs> red, no, like, 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 he just like, red, <laughs> just like, leave like a death stare from that. Look, man, that thing's gonna cost a lot to maintain. Mm -hmm. You see how big those things are? Like, I know. That tiny. depends. If it's a male, it's gonna be small. You're looking down. You look down. It's a male, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's a boy. Like, well, less expensive. Well, at least we're gonna be. And small. by the way, it does. You are a girl with griffins. <laughs> griffins have what, uh, like a cat-like <laughs> body? They have a. Eagle I know head. what they it's look like. Oh, that's so cute. Red's just like. But well, that is the end of the. Session. Alrighty, well, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, and have a good night, everybody. That was. All right. Well. That was pretty good. Excuse you. Oh my goodness. What a way to close out the. Or when don't I?